Stop being so sensitive, bitch. You ain't no bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and titty done. Is Trina there? Trina! World, are y'all ready? You know what's up when this sound begin. We about to go in. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this. Cracking jokes and singing, we won't miss. 5150 up in this bitch. Yeah, you ain't never seen a show like this. Ghetto folks gon' be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you kiss yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah 5150-2022 It's on I'm about to say some real things Hit the mic and bring the pain Cause you ain't never seen no show like this With the mic and bring the pain. Early. Right? Yeah. You ain't never up. seen no show like this. <laughs> Fuck all you <laughs> cake ass. What? what up? 51 motherfucking video in the motherfucking house. I am OG Corey Holcomb. Shit, I'm, oh. shit that's, that don't sound right. This is OG <laughs> Darlene hey, Ortiz. Holla back in three years, kid. This the young whippersnapper. He ain't no whippersnapper no more. He 30 he's, something, though. He, but he's young. He, but not he still got a lot of energy. He ain't got no kids. He ain't yeah. got nobody. He ain't got nobody to mentor. 34 again, you said, Marcus? I'll be 34 in about two weeks. Oh, he's 33 still. You know Marcus. Yeah. Hold on to that. He said, I'll be 34 in two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> he said 33 still. No, I don't stop flying by till you hit them 40s. <laughs> Once you hit them 40s, that shit be like, God weeks. damn, how old am I now? Oh, we are at the yeah, motherfucking Coin you. Academy, home of the Baller Podcast with my motherfuckers. Niggas up in this motherfucker, they threw the birthday party this week. Oh, yeah. What up, man? My nigga Go Mac laboring up the stairs in this bitch. Yeah. He going to put an elevator in this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got a breathing hard when he got some time. <laughs> they had a party for Layla on Wednesday, dog. Even though Layla, the laid back type, still had a little get together for him. You Nobody dig what I'm saying? Know. He said they still partying up here. Right there. Oh, really they be having that exotic ass liquor. Nah, he, he, you know Layla was right there and told me before you, I walked out with you that he, I'm probably, I'm not going to do it. They're making me do it. I'm not going to do it. That's the last I heard. Nobody reached out to me. That's all I'm saying. They, they didn't want the party to be fucked up. It's time to speak on it. They didn't want you to be in there. Well, if you guys really wanted to party. What? I'm fucking with you, dude. Exactly. Have some courage, punks. God damn it. Punks. Well, yeah. Phil they over there, talk, Phil get firsthand about exactly. information Thank about you. everything. God yeah. damn it. Phil, Phil the uh, shampoo girl of the shop. Yeah, that's not what I heard. Phil know out. everything. So we're just supposed to assume and show up? You know, um, Layla going to go on and have that party. Shit. You know. <laughs> oh, my God. Hell, no. Darlene, you know you don't be showing up. 
I could have She supposed up. to be on your show this week, ain't she? Yeah. Yes. What's happening? And what did I tell you earlier when, when we spoke? Uh, she said she may, she might. It's a good might. possibility because I didn't know how close it was to where I have to be at that time. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? So is y'all, is you going to be on the show or what? I am. You going to flake. The man got to wait to the last minute for you, honey. No, but I did tell him. No, we didn't. It wasn't written in stone. We. Spe- it was written no, in stone. No, it was not. We've been yeah, speaking about Everybody, it. Everybody, how I remember. I don't even remember shit. Right. I, I was I would, like. I said I would love to do the show. I didn't say, oh. It was people free. I know. Ain't Darlene doing a market show this week? Yeah, you said it last week, Darlene. So stop it, D. Okay, good. Well, then I won't finish his work then tomorrow. <laughs> so okay. there it is. Keep your word. There Keep it your is. word. D, that's all you got. The uh, balls in your word. I got more than you then. <laughs> I got more than you then. All right. Let's get to the shit. Somebody said comedian Chris Rock got him a snowball bro. Oh, yeah. What's her name? Comedian Blake. Chris Rock is done with black women, even though I don't believe that shit. That's some rumor shit. Right. He's uh, dating white her. actress Lake Bell. Bell. Lake Bell. Yeah. Yeah, some bitch. Let me see. She's you. been in quite a bit. Lake L A K. Lake Bell. Yeah, yeah Lake, Lake Bell. Lake that means that they pussy they been Lake. blasted. <laughs> Hello. What? Why else would her name be Lake? That ain't no real name. That's a Hollywood name. You think so? You never know. She might got that wick, huh? Them bitches don't name their daughter Lake. That name is all created. I'm going to uh, name her Lake. Uh-huh. The fuck out of here, bitch. What's your real uh, name? This is a strong face looking Tabitha? bitch right here. Chris Rock, tear that pussy up. God damn it. Slap it. She got a, a big wide ass jaw. Her shit like th- uh, Thanos. That's Is it? it? Yeah, yeah. That bit like that shit this. like the thing on the mask. Just one kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Too the other nigga got the mask. We fucking with <laughs> you, Chris. Don't be getting mad. He's your dude. She got a big wide ass face. Let me see the picture you got. Let me see the picture. Yeah, well, look at it. Hold on, my second. Hold on a second. Oh, God damn it. Jaw. Hold on, Chris, what you doing? <laughs> this is, Chris, who is this? I didn't see it up close. She kind of looks like the girl that Kanye was dating. Remember the other one? What? The white girl. This, she, they kinda, this they a kinda bitch? Like Chris, this better be a bitch. <laughs> is this a bitch? That's this a bitch woman. got the motherfucking, this bitch got the drag face. Yeah, she sure got a strong ass Well, you got, ain't fucking with flame, is you, Chris? got a strong ass face, boy. What the fuck is that, Chris? I didn't look at the bitch up close. I don't even be looking. Marcus, why you show me that? That bitch do face exercises. God yeah, damn, Chris, what you want, nigga? You Chris Rock. Why you fucking with the motherfucking, um, what's the bitch? She look like uh, the, the villain on Harry Potter with a wig. <laughs> the bald head light skin. <laughs> Maybe it's just having a good time. Maybe they're really good friends. I don't know. Maybe that pussy fire. That Who j- knows? That exactly. jaw might be off the chain. That right. too. That, that could be it too. You're right. It's something dick like <laughs> Anyway, Chris, do your thing. But I brought that up to go into something. Are the sisters messy than a motherfucker? Let's talk about this shit. Who? The sisters. Okay. Messy as in what? Go ahead. Oh, you weren't done. I'm just saying, like, the sisters, are the sisters so motherfucking messy for the most part? Of course, it ain't everybody with any scenario. Mm -hmm. But are most of the sisters so goddamn messy, you got to make them sign a, uh, what is it? NDA. NDA? Yeah. Do you got to make... A poverty-stricken heifer sign an NDA to be around you if you got anything going on. Well, most people do. Most artists, celebrities, if you want to call them that, do. They make the funky bitches sign something. Before before you get on their tour buses, before you go in their hotel rooms, before you go into their parties, Everybody. You should even make anybody even, sign something. Even somebody like uh, white a Beyonce. Bitches be saying, like, it's, it's brothers out here who mainly date sisters. But they get set out every time. I'm mm-hmm. talking about, I saw a story that just made me shake my motherfucking head. The quarterback for the Arizona football team, Kyler Murray, poor brother, had a 
funky bitch up his house. Uh oh, what happened? Braiding his hair. I'm gonna try to stop you. Yeah, you heard what she said? She said she didn't sign an NDA, so she gonna say what the hell she wanna say. Oh. Now let me let me just give you let me just give you the motherfucking gist of the story oh, please. from this funky ass hoe. Oh, that's terrible. The man had a bitch braiding his hair. Okay. Okay. The bitch braided his hair, and y'all can get that. Get that man face bitch down. Yeah. Look, the bitch braid his hair. Obviously, he got a problem with how the bitch come when she braid his hair. Because he asked her, hey, can you please wear some pants when you come over my house? Wait. To braid my hair. Wait. wait. Now, let's talk about this, because <laughs> I want to hear y'all opinion. Why would a man say, can you wear some pants? when you come over and braid my hair? Cause you saw what happened to the quarterback who used to play for the Texans. Yeah. The bitches came with all that bullshit, he ain't fuck nobody. Right. So here's another black quarterback in the NFL. And he said, can you please wear some pants when you come to my house? This bitch went off, set him out, talk shit about him. He ain't make me sign no NDA. You heard that part, Did right? Did she still do the job? No, because he wouldn't let the hoe put on her whole outfit. She didn't do the job. Oh, wow. She was all emotion. But what I'm saying is the man played quarterback in the NFL. Maybe the bitch dressed like a hoe and he worried. Man, if this bitch is up around me, you know when a bitch be braiding your head, she be up on you. Sure, mm-hmm. you're close. Yeah, it's close contact. It's all mm-hmm. kind of shit. So the man asked, can you please wear some pants when you come braid my hair? She done did work for him before. She done braided his yeah, hair Yeah, she done, she been braiding his hair. Okay, that, that's So, fine. like, I was, I want to hear what both of y'all got to say about this shit. Well, I don't know the, ins- I don't know the, the, the personal details of this guy, so Go I don't ahead, know if D. he's married or if he has a, you know, special someone. So since you did confirm that she's been doing his hair, maybe he has some new, uh, I wouldn't say uh, rules or standards or things, but something like that where he's like, okay, hold on, let me, let me, let me ask her this. You know what I'm saying? Let me ask her to, to come like this. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't you don't, you don't think nothing wrong with him saying, yo, can you please wear some pants? Absolutely not. What are you talking about? It'd be like, well, of course, okay, yeah. no problem. I mean, I'm just saying, it's a risky thing when you have any funky bitch around you when you're an NFL quarterback player. Like, these bitches hustle anything that happens. Yeah. It's a, it, I mean, they're, I wasn't trying to coerce, I mean, make y'all say they, what, what I'm thinking. No, I'm, I'm just saying. No, I got a whole different thought. Yeah. Get it to me. Go ahead. That pussy might be funky. He might get up under there and be like, God damn, bitch. <sighs> Bitch, you need some extra cover on that motherfucker or something. Bitch, motherfucker. Take off them Nikes and put on some PH words, Balance New Balance. In other words, we don't know why he asked her to wear pants, but uh, I would think that the main reason sounds like it is that he wanted her to wear pants instead of whatever else she probably wears. I mean, I don't know more about, I'd have to know more about the exact story. How he did might, it all go? I don't know. But either way, the way she said it sounded very... Aggressive. She was a messy bitch. Yeah, very aggressive, very hot. He hostile, might appreciate like. the work, but he don't appreciate the twerk. I'm just saying, it's like, so if you're doing my hair and I say, hey, 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 ma'am, I want you to wear pants when you come visit me. You, the bitch supposed to talk shit about you and, 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 because and, like the bitch was on that sound. little podcast or whatever she was doing, talking shit. Yeah, it didn't saying? sound very well. You heard it. it was, Trying to make it seem like he's a bad person because he asked her to wear some pants she while he, she do his hair. I'm trying to understand what 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 could she say that uh, bad about him? What what, what 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 did she say? Right, I'm, I'm trying to understand he, why what possessed her to actually. Because I'm trying to see it. Cause it, it she it, got offended when show. he said wear pants and start dropping f bombs. He's like, "Fuck you!" Matter of fact, your appointment is over. Well, All so the that guy shit. Can't say- the bitch blew the bag off emotion. Okay. That's what I say. Wow. Just a, 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 this is what happens when you are in the presence of. Excuse me. Now this is gonna make people mad, and I like it too. <laughs> but if you have an untrained bitch around you in any way, 
you are going to get drama when they get comfortable around you. The first two times, they're going to act right. Maybe three times they'll act right. Maybe you might get four times out the bitch for her coming out the bag, for she come out the bag. But if it's an untrained bitch around you, it's just a matter of time for it go bad. And it ain't got to be because you're trying to get some pussy from her. You might simply ask the bitch to dress in a respectful manner when you come see me. Right. Right. I don't want you doing my hair like you do your hair. Wear some pants. Like D said, maybe his woman was like, man, can we have this bitch put on some pants while she doing your hair? Something. If, if his woman wanted that. Because that, that girl, I, mean? I remember she alluded to that. Is that bad? Is it, is it, is, 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 are they out of pocket because him and his woman say, look, what's some pants when no. you do my hair? What's wrong with that? There's she still, might, she's she still got be, her job. She might be getting that nigga aroused when you come over there. She exactly, but what's wrong with that? That could happen that too. That ass sound like, man, hey, man would be, it, would, on, it would be man, wrong if he. Ooh, that ass be looking right. It, it's one of these, those catch 22 situations. He'd be wrong as well if he were to say, oh, you know what? You should dress a lot, you know, more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Then it'd be like, uh oh. He's over here wanting to dress in a wanted. particular way. Of course, in this she situation. She's ready for an NDA. That's what she's trying to tell you. She said, I ain't going sign one. Most bitches will reject being trained. They'll say, I'm trained. But if you look at their life, it's a fucking train wreck. <laughs> I don't need nobody tell me nothing. Bitch, look at your life. You do need to be trained. Who can train a woman? That's the question. Especially these black women the, uh, the average-minded black woman, who is the who in the fuck is she going to listen to besides her boss at work? Ain't nobody else going to be able to tell her shit. No, that is the closest thing to discipline she'll get, her boss at work. Some people, somebody, they, they make some valid points. They say he might be gay. Well, and if he, he gay, then, oh, bitch, God. don't be a, <laughs> If that's why he said it, he still ain't bogus. And then, Either way, and then as a professional... They say also, as a professional, why is he saying Antonio between, Richardson sounded like he was trying to protect himself. Go ahead. But, uh, they also there. said, uh, why is he sitting between her legs as a professional anyway? She nobody was, said nobody was sitting between nobody's legs. Oh, they, but they when somebody do your hair said. and they in some shit, it's close oh. they, show, That's, they show that monkey oh, or whatever. Sitting you're sitting in a chair, you were, she's standing up. If you a man, you know how hard it is? Fuck that shit. I use myself as an example. If a bitch is naked and I'm attracted to her, Naked. Or, 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 well, see, women don't consider themselves naked when they got, oh, on, you mean, when um, they got on some stretch pants that show basically the structure of their body. Even some girls' stretch pants are so tight, you can see the pussy print on it. That is arousing. Right, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. That is arousing. This is the new way to dress around people. If I'm around a bitch that I feel like is attractive and she got on some stretch pants... Or if she got on something that shows too much meat up top. Mm -hmm. Darlene, you can't braid my hair like this. Excuse me? You can't braid my hair like this. I'm be <laughs> looking at you. Oh, my God. I'm just telling you I'm going to be looking at you. I ain't going to lie. What I'm supposed to say? I'm going to be what? looking at you. What? I ain't going to lie. Why you braid my hair when we doing this? This is a baggy jumpsuit. No, but I'm saying, like, because I see cleavage a little, I'm a man. You I am a cleavage? professional. Oh. I'm a professional. I know how to conduct myself in a way where I'm not finna be jammed up and everything. But I'm just saying, I like to look at women. I like it. Even some women that ain't attractive. I just look at the monkey. And believe me, most women know exactly what they're doing. Like, okay, this I'll do this for this. My hair, I look presentable. Some now, women's body I is made where they can't hide nothing. They got to wear a plastic bag. That's why I was trying to, my point, when I was trying to say that uh, different shaped women, like a, a, a more slender woman, very skinny, wearing the same thing as somebody with a lot more meat on their bones, it looks, it's a whole different look. It's like almost to the point of, well, I've had somebody say, uh, what do you think about that? They're like, oh, it's the point of almost vulgarity. It's vulgar. Wait, why? It's the same outfit, but since she, or you could see folds in her butt crease, you can see, you know what I'm saying, meat, she got that shirt, her stomach, yeah. And I'm, so I'm just, people listen, are, I ain't gonna lie to you. it really does something to people. Yeah. <clears throat> Mother uh, do my hair, I want butt bone neck. You, oh you get that God. paper and you get, get that NDA. It. 
You can get motherfucker do what the fuck you want. But ball nigga, that motherfucker butterball, baby. You all you got to right not. here. You Somebody say, Corey, a monkey watching. You got damn right. Oh when I go God. to strip clubs, Jeez, me, baby. I don't go to strip clubs all the time. I was about to say, do you? Because baby? I like the shock of when I go. Well, when I go to a strip club and I see all that meat naked in front of me, I be hypnotized for about 20 minutes. Well, that's the whole purpose. Yeah. Some guys that's be used to it. I don't want to be used to that. I like going in there and be like, God dang. That's the I whole purpose. I don't like strip club. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? I don't like strip club, man. Hey, man, look, I ain't no strip club every week, motherfucker. But and not I'm only just that, saying. nowadays strip clubs are more like a, a club, like a party. Come man, on in and party. Judah the Lion say sexy is a real thing. Yeah, there's a, there you go. Yeah. Well, I'm just cutting this damn phone. Wow, out. but yeah, that's that's the way she said it was so. In other words, but but here we go. Why is she even out there speaking on it? You know what I'm saying? Like, why did what would possess her to go um, even bring this out? and talk about because it. Because it's her chance to get some fame. Exactly. But she don't realize everybody watching her and be like, bitch, you can't be up under me. You set that nigga out because he asked you to wear some pants. So, yeah. That's why I can't so stand people that just trying to get famous off of anything, bro. Like, well, how else they going to get how famous? It is nowadays. Some yeah. motherfuckers say they doing a movie. Ain't doing <laughs> shit. I can't, I can't. But that'll get them on other people's shows. <laughs> then when other people find out they ain't doing the movie, they get the fuck away from the nigga. <laughs> this is how the game go with perpetrators. <laughs> but that pussy, this is, this is something that everybody needs to know. Man, do you know a healthy male is not really, for the most part, able to control himself around pussy? Mm. Mm-hmm. They not able to control themselves. The mm-hmm. strongest of us keep our composure mm-hmm. when we move in with a bitch and her daughter grown and you know you can fuck her. The strongest of us be like, hey, hey, I'm not fucking this bitch daughter even though her daughter a slutty 20 year old bitch. Oh. I am not going to do that. I will not stoop that low. But others, not like me, will fuck the shit out your daughter, bitch. So don't be talking crazy to me when you, I guess it's another bitch in there. <laughs> got to be hollering at you. I had a young bitch talking crazy to me. She ain't got as much dirt on me yet. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. I didn't like, I didn't even like the sound of the tone of it. She was speaking. I didn't see how Somebody she Somebody say, I'm going to put you in my movie core. <laughs> 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 hey, Demetrius, all right. Anyway, no, yeah, that, that right. shit was bogus because I listened to the yeah, whole that's interview. Not right. that's I wrong. could play the interview, but I don't want to play the interview. Bitch, you was out of pocket. The man didn't do nothing but and, ask and you I hope that to he, wear some I'm motherfucking sorry. pants. I hope that he didn't. Um, he said, you're not going to tell this all to the team and shit, are you? That bitch was like, hell yeah. Oh, so, she but looking all, for drama. But wait, now all that is her take on it is what she's saying? In other words, did we hear from him or is he not giving her any? We didn't hear from him. I'm glad. I'm, I was just going to say that. He I don't hope, have to say nothing. Thank, and he should Because the bitch already said enough about some pants. And he, you get and, what I'm saying? And he would just mm-hmm. keep it going, right? And she's probably look starving for that. Corey the same. Best thing he can do is just <laughs> ignore this whole thing. That's what I'm saying, man. They yeah. He's trying to get uh, cloud off of any damn thing. Yeah, that's, that's awful. I they hate that. They don't give a damn what But you is. really don't believe it when you're around just a person that they work in you. Hmm. You don't believe that the fame motherfuckers looking for it. Wait a minute, just you because I believe. haven't given anything in a minute. She was scheming by not wearing the pants, and when he gave the rule, the jig was up, so she went to plan B. Peace make a good point. She probably come in that mother with panties on. Yeah, but what's fun, what's interesting yeah, You don't is, know what a uniform was beforehand. That's probably why he's put total pants. She probably came in that mother with booty short, ass cheek. When I get my hair done, she thick? when I get my hair done, Can't now that I done start doing shit to my hair on the weirdo side of the game, uh, you, you can't be- do this, Mark. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> The lady who does my hair is always presentable. It's a always profession. presentable. Hello, unless yeah. unless he was paying for that. Hey, like the 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 naked maids that come in. That's yeah, a different I story. That. I want that. Right. If you I was mean, all, like, I was I all like, inclusive bitch. You feel right. what I'm saying? I like looking at women. I ain't gonna lie. It's fascinating to me. Mm-hmm. It's absolutely fascinating to me. But I understand how the world works, and if I had Kyla, Mur- Kyla Murray's position in life. Mm-hmm. There's no way I would have no bitch around me 
doing what the fuck she want to do. And it ain't just about no pants. It's like, bitch, your job is to come in here and braid my hair, and we adding this to the shit. Mm. You can't dress like you want to. I need you wearing pants while you doing my hair. And if that's too much, just move on. Don't try to turn it into, oh, y'all, look, let me call the shade room. Let me let, because uh, that's another thing Kyler Murphy said. He said, uh, the Baby, people in the shade room look, are a lot of problem. messy bitches. Mm. And they are messy bitches. I mean, they might try to bring drama to me because I'm saying this, but one day I was in a story. I was like, where the fuck they get this story from? What I don't, was it? This ain't true. This some sucker shit. Mm. One day I was in a shade room story about some bitch I fucked in Miami and all that shit. What? It, it helped me, though. Because the bitches, saying, this probably the bitches in Miami was like, I heard you put it on her. <laughs> I was like, that ain't me. I know, I know that was a lie. That's one. That's good loud. I heard you it. told that bitch up. Yeah. Like, Who y'all got the wrong nigga? <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, y'all, 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 y'all must miss that nigga over me or something. That's funny. <laughs> but no, she's funny. actually doing him. She's actually doing him good and a favor, really, if you think about it, because people are like, is that, is that what it is? Wow, so what is your problem? You feel well, me? I'm like, saying it's like the way women do. They want to turn the world against you when it go bad. No, those I'm talking kind about of women. Nine those out of ten of women, women, when you wind up not working out with them, they want to turn the world against you. They want everybody to not like you and think that you the bad guy and they the victim. All right, plain Absolutely. clothes. I'll do that. What did it say? He said if I did his hair, he would buy me some new roller skates. <laughs> you said you'll do it? That's all you charge me? <laughs> I'm just playing. I can't play back. So yeah. motherfucker, D, can't, D, you can't do her. What do you mean? You don't do her. I can grease your scalp. I can perm it. Yeah. I can perm it. I can braid. Say do hair one I used to do time. my do son's hair. hair. Yes, I used, to, I, used to, I used to perm somebody's hair, hello, for years. You used to perm her? That ain't no, that ain't no doing her. You I just perm braid it. I could braid it, and I could probably, you braid I could probably, uh, well, you, I can. I, Everybody I was, can't braid. I was saying I could give you a trim. Oh, to my clip? Yeah. D. Oh, why do you act? I, I, oh. I can would, we talk about uh, that? Your, your vision ain't good enough to be lining me up. You're gonna have me crooked. Me. You know? <laughs> That's almost like Pearl, my old girl, my friend Pearl, who's ninety. And the very first story she said when I said I offered to do her hair, I said, "Oh, poor baby girl, she's good. I'll, I'll do your hair, Pearl." And she said. Darlene, you stop. She said, you know I'm black. I started laughing. I was like, uh, hello. And I felt bad saying this, but I was like, Pearl, you forgot who I was with? I used to do that man's hair, and it was longer than her. Cool? I you said, and, wait, it? and oh, permit. Oh, braid it, permit. Yeah, wait. Oh, he and said you was with me. Wait. Oh. <laughs> and wait, though, and I said, I said, and I hated to say it. I said, and, it was, and she was like, but that was a man. I said, sweetheart, it was longer than your hair. <laughs> His hair was so longer than her So let me ask you this. Do you know, because like a lot of bitches that say they braid hair. I have found this out the hard way. But every bitch don't know how to line your hair up and make the braids look even. Yeah, no, I don't do that. Girl, I can do, I, anybody can do box braids, but I don't do that. I don't do the cornrows, no. Yeah, because these yeah, girls out yeah. here be like, I can do it. No. I can do it. But I used to have then the Then when you get up, like you be a, like, damn, I just fucked off two and a half hours <laughs> of my life. That's Take funny. it out now. Yeah. I need somebody to grease my scalp. That's yeah. a lot of grease. I just All slap you got to do is put some grease on your head, nigga. <laughs> Ain't no hand away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's too funny. But no, I, I, I um I don't even know who the guy is that you're talking about, but that's wrong what she did. That's wrong. Yeah, she well Kyler Murray, he's a he's a young quarterback too. Oh well for we're the Arizona. He's a young black quarterback. Either Another way, one who money. ain't got his contract. See these these that motherfucking Caucasian terrible. quarterbacks get their contracts done fast. Man, it's you got a quarterback <laughs> in Baltimore who won MVP of the league, and he still ain't got his contract done. Kyler Murray, a man who had the Cardinals at one time last year, I believe they were 8-0, or they were they had a very good record. This motherfucker ain't got no contract. This contract ain't done right. But let motherfucking um, 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 Bryce Feinstein have a good season. That motherfucker, they done okay. signed him for 30 years. Mm. <laughs> Them white quarterbacks got their money. I'm talking about the boy in Buffalo. You name it. They got mm. their money. Mm, mm, mm. Kyler Murray, my man in Baltimore, they ain't got their money. It really? ain't no coincidence. Really? That's a cold game right wow. There. This man won National Football League Most Valuable Player in Baltimore. 
The man almost went undefeated in the season. Mm. They ain't give him his money. Mm. That's crazy. He's still hoping he get his money. So he got a weak ass contract. He got he, he got that shit where you know that rookie shit is up. It's time to pay him. Mm. But they ain't paid they him. They do it like the first three years. It's something like that. He been playing in the league for three years. He and Lamar Jackson are both on their rookie contracts. That motherfucker, uh, the only motherfucking nigga they gave a contract to that's reputable is the half-breed nigga in Kansas City who wow. stands on his white side. Now, I root for him because he's probably the best in the league, but I'm just saying, these are two black men. Even though, old oh girl, I will say this. I don't know how much you charge to do Kyler Murray head, but that motherfucker head bigger than mine. <laughs> Oh, I got to see it's this. It's for square. Well, Kyler Murray wear an eight and a half hat. It's for square. I got to see this. This is an apple head nigga Ooh, right here. Shit. Kyler, Murray. you know I ain't talking shit about you, my dude. But you know, I don't know how you run that fast with that head. I be like, boy, this motherfucker be running fast so as hell with that he head. He do look like one of them little badass <laughs> kids that do have the big head with the braces. What picture you get, With them Martin? silver teeth. What picture you get? That nigga got a big dome, boy. Golly, I can see it. Yeah, he got a big ass oh, head, though. Oh, because it goes the, the top oh, yeah. is big. Oh, wow. Yeah, the top is big. It come out like this, like a light bulb. That right. nigga got a, woo, that nigga. Like even if he had, on the side. Look like he got an afro with a ball head. Yeah, that nigga, yeah, uh, I see uh, uh, it. Uh, Kyler, yeah. we ain't talking shit about you, man. We hope you get that paper and fuck that funky bitch. I got a girl out there in yeah, Arizona who do hair, and I guarantee you if she do your hair, you gonna motherfucking want to see her, goddammit. She from St. Louis. She used she to wear do, pants or whatever you want. She wear <laughs> pants when she do my hair. Her and her daughter. They her daughter, her hair. daughter is older though. About, I don't know, probably about 29, 30. Mm. Both of them stunning. Beautiful girls. They both they, do your hair. Well, both of them can do my hair. The daughter do her hair just as good as her mama. They line. Her mama train her to line your shit up oh, right. Are they line up your bird? They, I don't think, well, Yo, beard. Yeah. I don't know what y'all could do with that motherfucker. I'm sure they could twist it. <laughs> I'll just line it up with some clippers. Oh, with some clippers? Oh, yeah. don't go all the way to yeah, Phoenix to do that. that. I ain't going there. I'm just saying when I'm down there, you just put me on the daughter. Send the daughter. Oh, no, I, I see where I this guy's going. I ain't sending the daughter going. at you. Wow. Let <laughs> me tell you why. Why? Wow. You're going to be in love. I see where he's going. In love. Yeah. Daughter bad. Yeah. The mama bad. Both yeah. of them bad. And they be professional when they do my hair. Yeah. Professionals, no bullshit. No extra talk. What you mean extra talk? Well, that <laughs> when you, you sit there for a yeah, long time, yeah. you usually have to. It's almost like ther therapy. It's like a yeah, bartender. Yeah, unless you can it's request like people not to talk. That's true. You can, yeah. You can request people not to you talk. You just stay on your phone. But I don't mind a motherfucker talking while they doing my hair because they help them get through it. Yeah. Most motherfuckers don't stop talking at the hair salon. Let me tell you what Marcus did. <laughs> this motherfucker got his hair done while the show was going and called himself Marcus after that. Marcus! Said he was passionate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker's talk about, talk about this, talk about that. Let me tell you something, man. Of course, it was a mass shooter in Chicago yeah, again. So Highland weird. Park, suburb of Chicago. One in, there was one in, what, Philadelphia, too, during Is that the today? Uh, show. That was uh, the fourth, I think. Um, that was on who's Sunday. the one in Philadelphia? That was on Sunday, I think the fourth. I ain't see, I ain't heard about one in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Thanks, People, Bruce Willis. They, they were running from um, as they were watching uh, fireworks. It was a Sunday or Monday. Let me see. Thanks, Bruce Phillips, for the dollar you sent on cash. Yeah, they were watching fireworks. I'd be mm -hmm. loving these little Thank dollars y'all saying. They helped me pay for the show. Uh, but no, these mad it shootings. Was on the these mad shootings have something in common. Oh, it was on. The, it was on the same day. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what's been happening with these mass shootings in in in, in America. These white boys don't die. Oh yeah, absolutely not. These white boys get a chance to live after they murder people. But they'll shoot a nigga sixty times. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are y'all noticing this? This is, these, these white boys. They don't even know what to do with the white boys who keep shooting up crowds of people. And then they give them press. Because the white boys that shoot That's up these crowds of people are not, these ain't random white boys. These are the sons and daughters of the people who run for office and all that shit. It's ties back to motherfuckers who in power. Especially with that Trump shit. Mm. Yeah. 
These motherfucking white motherfuckers, they sons and daughters, loco. Loco. What's going to happen? How many more innocent people? This is what they're not saying. What are we going to do about these white males that shoot up crowds of people? They're not even called terrorists on CNN. They be having targets sometimes. Uh-huh. Ain't nobody saying nothing. They just, that's why I can't listen to that shit, man. I'm like, hold on, these are Caucasian males for the most part. Yeah. Who are shooting up crowds. They be, and, t- and they be targets in them crowds sometimes. And they, just, don't, they don't be innocent. They be have, and just two days prior to that in Boston, there was a, they had that, did you see that protest? They were, um, it was like white nationalists and they had a hundred members of the white nationalist group called the Patriot Front. Tyler Murray sent me $10. No, I'm just fucking with you. Tyler, some dude named Tyler sent me $10. Anyway, if you watch that, oh my God, these dudes right here. They, 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 if you watch the, the protest. I say they did spirits. They, um, they're, it's almost like the Ku Klux Klan all over again. Cause if you watched it, they were all wearing matching outfits and they all had white pull on full head ski mask, only their eyes showing. And so everybody was calling them out like, oh, come on, man, you cowards. You over here walking with a, co- your face is covered. And, and one had the, one had the audacity, to, one like had the audacity to yell out. Y'all ain't um, shit. It's a, it's a, it's a pandemic going on. Come on, man. You guys have flags in the background. Yeah. I was like, you guys were the last, the first ones to argue that you didn't want to wear a mask. Give me a break. He's not wearing it for that. You don't want to be seen. It's, it's, it's a cold, cold world on these streets. And if you just at the parade or you at a gathering, you don't just have to worry about COVID. You have to worry about these motherfucking Caucasian males who hate the world. It's like you can't even go out and have fun relaxing or but he's going to be it's know. just ain't nobody saying that shit. Mm. they don't have the balls to say that on the news you say that on the news you might not be able to motherfucking come back oh yeah i, I seen that, seen that too. look at that how they're all covered up where's that that protest in, in in boston the uh white nationalist what do oh, you yeah. what do you what do you feel like the issue is uh with those white males man as far as uh, their upbringing core well i'm gonna tell you this Everybody who is lesser mm-hmm. has issues with people who are more. Okay. Ugly bitches can't stand pretty women. Mm-hmm. You know, they walk up to them and say, hey, beautiful, how you doing? And you could just see the frustration in their eye as they mm-hmm. say it. Yeah. So I believe these Caucasian males. That's crazy. Recognize who the gods are. Mm-hmm. And they live a life knowing they are not the elite. Everything mm-hmm. they have was taken. You know, it's, they've raped. I'm talking about the history. Like I've said this before on the show, the history of the Caucasian male in America is something that needs to be studied and brought out. Mm-hmm. But it's their media, so they don't do that. Mm-hmm. They don't like that they can't make one of them with anybody but one of them. Mm-hmm. But you, me, Darlene, we can make one of us out of anything on this planet. That shit means something, man. Mm-hmm. And, make, and can make one yeah. of them too. Right. So that pan- shit means something. So this panicking. is the dominant color. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Light is recessive. The lighter you are, that's the weaker the color. Mm-hmm. Not, I'm not saying that as a racist. I'm saying this is a fact. It is mm-hmm. a fact, yeah. Mm-hmm. So Absolutely. when they really look at what's happening in the world, they hate black people. They be like, those are the gods. Mm-hmm. Those are the people that shit is, things come from them. And we don't have it like that. So we going to take over black entertainment television <laughs> and have it a, a man booty short convention. Right. And bitches in suits, and throw off the balance of the world. Mm-hmm. And some of them are so full of hate, they can't wait for the plan to come to the way they want it to come to. They just shoot motherfuckers. That's my opinion. If I'm wrong, come talk to me and tell me where I'm wrong. Show me where I'm wrong. Hmm. I want to be wrong, but I know I'm not. And Moses says that they're inferior. Yeah. Inferior. You're not even trained to Thank say that. Are. And it's obvious. Do you know why so many black people are in the NBA? (laughs) 
Those are the Titans you watching, boy. Yeah. The NFL. You know why it's blacks predominate the NFL? Mm. Because those are the Titans. Absolutely. Those are the gods of men. And they, they make it where they nothing. They try to call you an athlete. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're an athlete. <laughs> oh, athlete, I'll beat your ass and, <laughs> and make a black baby with your wife. Can you do that? That's what I want to ask you. Can you fuck my bitch and make a baby? If you fuck my bitch, it's going to be a baby look like me. Yo shit can't be duplicated. Only by one that look like you. That's weakness. Hey, I know it hurt. I, I ain't saying this to make my Caucasian fans and my Caucasian people I know feel some kind of way about me, but my people don't think like this because they're not trained to think like this because there's nothing on TV showing this. The facts of what I'm saying. Of course you can say, oh, Corey's a radical, he's this, that, and the other, but there's facts to what I'm saying. Yeah, that's why right. they enact all these laws and shit to- what My man said who just sent $9, my bad. I didn't oh, see it. He said, Corey, my wife, something. Corey, my wife made me send you something. She says, you have been listening to him for a while. Oh. Help the show. She said, I can afford to miss a lunch. <laughs> Gerardi 2000, we appreciate that 999. Oh, that sweet. shit is gonna help me pay Phil and Nail and uh, Abe, who taller than Marcus. <laughs> right, and get the elevator in here. Uh -huh. Go Mac, walking down the stairs and protest. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did. No, he, better than that, Corey. How about the chair? We Somebody say prove the facts, Corey. then Corey. Corey. Prove the facts. The proof is in the pudding. Yeah. What did I say that hasn't been proved? Give me an example of something I said that isn't proven. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to tell you that black people were the first people here on this planet, and there's proof to that. Too late, Tyler Mac. Oh, somebody say I'll make a baby with D. <laughs> That baby machine in there is outdated. Hey. They don't even sell them eight-track tapes no more that D got in there. My woman's going, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why they enact all these laws to kind of suppress us, man. And, uh, They're scared, us basically. Us mentally. People are getting, those guys yeah. like that are, are scared. Yeah, and take resources from us, but we still thriving through it all. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. We still, we still, uh, uh, we prospering, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and passing them, you know what I mean? With, even with all that, with everything that they've done to us right. and are doing to us. And that's frustrating. If you if you bullying somebody, but they keep coming back stronger every time you bully, ooh, you you yeah. whooping their ass every day. But then you cut it's like, ooh, they throwing they they, they come back they coming back. Ooh, they, yeah, they, they get strong. Is he training? What's going on? You know what I mean? Mm. And it's just instilled in them. So it's like they they getting frustrated, and then they, and then their 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 race is dying out. They mad. They angry. Manual Ford, thanks for the $10. It. It's nature, baby. Another thing that's nature, that motherfuckers, I'm tired of seeing on the fucking internet. They got a picture of the sister, Brittany Griner, and it says if it was LeBron, he would be home. Who, who said that? It's all like, just random know, person. Just I've seen yeah. this picture a few times on the internet, and I want to comment on well, that. Well, remember they brought, up the, they brought up that, speaking of that, it's kind of similar to the story or the take on it. Like last week, instead of LeBron, they were saying, oh, well, remember when that kid Ball got in trouble in yeah. China, and he helped, and, and uh, Trump helped bring him back right away. So He was with UCLA. Right. Yeah, he was, in a, he was in a professional player or whatever. He, he, he's going to generate income, which is what I was going to talk about. Okay. Because in all that shit about Brittany Griner, if it was LeBron, first of all, LeBron wasn't on the plane with no vapes. LeBron James wasn't on the plane, got caught with the vapes. Don't say if it was LeBron. LeBron, don't be getting caught up in that type of shit. But let's talk about another part, since you mm. just want to act like that ain't what happened. Or they maybe, maybe they lying on her. Let's just say they lying on her. Uh, I wrote in response, um, she not LeBron. I mean, like, this is what I'm saying. I ain't got to read that. Brittany Griner 
is probably one of the best players in the WNBA. Mm -hmm. They don't make them white people no money. The WNBA is basically a sympathy league. Well, she was actually right. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but wasn't she wasn't she over there because she was doubling up? So not only was she playing here, that was her white like off season gig. They have to go to Russia because well, but she was still if, playing here too. I bet you if they didn't have to go to Russia, they wouldn't go to Russia. Yeah, so that was like her second gig because I remember the wife saying so much. Really? They make more money over there, right? But she was still she's still playing here, right? No. Okay. They make more money in Europe. Okay, there you go, sorry. So let me say this. Mm -hmm. Brittany Griner and no woman in the WNBA can generate the type of income LeBron James and most NBA players generate because there's a form of athleticism in the National Basketball Association that's absolutely phenomenal. Do you see the athletes in the w, WNBA and you want to compare them to what happens in the NBA? Them guys in the NBA got literal rockets in their leg. It's exciting to watch them. So the WNBA, they play it in the summer when ain't shit else on. So you can watch the female layup line of average to man face bitches. Every cute bitch in the WNBA get hated on. I'm so glad the sister left and went to Chicago. What's the girl name who got drafted by the Sparks, played for the Sparks all them years? The pretty girl. The pretty one. Tall girl. What's her name? She, she pretty. On, she Phil, played for the Sparks. It. They're going to say it first. I sat by on the plane. I was too scared to look at her for real because I didn't want to fuck with her. She, Candace Parker is her she, name. She should have pants on. See, not really. I'm just saying. Get it? <laughs> Candace Parker was hated on by most of the bitches in the NBA because she was pretty. Then when she went to Chicago and played with a couple of white girls that don't give a fuck how pretty she is, she won a championship mm. because it wasn't that hate shit. Let me tell you something. When that girl first came in the NBA, them bitches was trying to fight her. I remember when Candace Parker first got in the WNBA, all of the mongoloid looking bitches. Oh no. Was trying to fight her. Do you know if you an attractive girl in the WNBA, them bitches can't stand your way. This is the point I'm trying to make with that. Mm. She was able to shine when she went to Chicago because of the type of people she was playing with. It wasn't the competition on how you look squad. It was two girls who played uh, the backcourt in Chicago, Caucasian women, that can shoot very well, and it worked well with Candace Parker because Candace Parker could still do things that wasn't able to be shown in L.A. because she was playing with bitches that was in competition with her. The monkey bitches. The bitches that don't get chose. Go on prom with family member bitches. Go and you won't go on prom with family members. All the bitches who don't look that good be on prom <laughs> with their cousins and stuff. And you want us to pay for that? So then when somebody in the WNBA has some drama, the first thing you do is bring up the man-female competition. If it was LeBron, then what? You goddamn right. LeBron make them people a lot of money. What Jimmy Walker say? Money. <laughs> He finally got a funny <laughs> commercial. The first one was dry. Now he'd be like, right now. Yeah, he does like a, uh. He does. Right. Money. Good luck, Jimmy Walker. I'm glad you finally <laughs> got confident enough to be silly in the commercial. Anybody who talked back and shine, yeah. didn't he shine you on one time where he told yeah, you Yeah, he, he, he a mean <laughs> motherfucker. But now he got that commercial where he made some more money. <laughs> Congratulations, Jimmy Walker. But all you WNBA bitches, the reason that they won't send for you in Russia like that and do what they got to do is because you don't generate money. So remember that. Get some money playing bikinis. Even though you're not attractive, motherfuckers are still looking at all that meat bounce. Because they, they do got a league that's off the chain. Called right. Buns and basketball. They got to play in G strings so you can generate money. Woo.
That's where your money at. In your ass and pussy and everything. You think we finna watch you because of your great athleticism? We watch you because ain't shit else on. Mm-hmm. I watched that bunch of basketball for that ass leather system. Boy, that mm-hmm. motherfucker. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> that motherfucker <laughs> got that ass on them boys. Bring in some money. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Somebody say Jimmy Walker, look, man. I ain't nobody. He sure yeah, does, but I would have did. Oh, oh, man. Grandpa. I would've Call loved. in right now. I would love to see that the, the whole interaction between Corey and him. Oh, my God. Oh, it was weird. Oh. It was weird, dude. You'd have been laughing your ass I'm laughing off. at the thought, but just to see it, that would, oh, my God. We almost got to set that up. Where is he at? The Duval had drama with the motherfucker from uh, P Valley. P Valley writer. Wait, what? He blasts my homie Lil Duval saying the gay scene was too much, where the two men had the scene where they were sleeping with each other oh, in that P-Valley. I've never seen P-Valley, not once. You will not stud horse a TV show with niggas in lipstick and stretch pants and motherfucking cat suits. That ain't my demographic. Well, but, Every man who it, watched P Valley is interested in some shit they shouldn't be interested in. Mm-hmm. Quote it. But isn't the majority of Quote the, it, motherfuckers. Is, say I said it and watch me stand on it. Go that ahead, isn't, no, no, no. I'm just gonna say, isn't the majority of the story supposedly about like a strip clubs of females? Mm-hmm. I don't know what it's about. They, Mark, Mark, Mark said yes. They try to mix that shit in with the with the, with the But isn't that shit. kind of what's happening out there? If anyway? you a man who watch P Valley, you are interested in shit you should not be interested in. Boom. Somebody said, don't watch it. If you gotta, if you gotta go, if you, if you, if you gotta go through dick to watch some ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> There it is, Morgan. <laughs> because you said you liked it, you were watching it. My, I, I said I was, what? A couple of weeks ago, you said that you asked him, like, how come you don't, you were, you were saying that you like the show. I ain't never told you I, I like that deep that you make it up. You said you like Pete Valley. <laughs> you know I ain't never told you that. Okay, what'd you say when you brought it up that week? What was the question? I said I started watching this shit to cut that shit off. Oh, is that what you said? Yes, okay, I did. I'm going to look that up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to look that up. No, my, my niece what had What do it the on. niggas do in the strip club? Let me tell you. Oh. oh. D, what they do? No, I... Honest to God, honest and truly, I was at my niece's last week and she had it on. It was playing. And I said, is that, that's that show that they brought up on the show a couple weeks ago, Mark, as I told my niece. And she said, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it gets kind of wrong. And the moment that those dudes start going to happen to be that episode, she said, oof, ooh, it, it's not really this bad, D. And I was like, really? Because it was pretty graphic. I do was, the, do I was the men playing. be stripping? Stripping, they, they had sex. There was two guys on it when she, when I walked into her house, I it literally never, was playing. No, no, never <laughs> watch that shit. I was like, what? I thought this was a, a female strip club story. She said the majority it is, but she said, wow, I didn't even expect, she didn't expect that. So men be buzzing down to make money <laughs> on this show? God damn, the world is over, man. Man, what y'all got cold over there to drink? I feel like Wait, I had the hot dog, man. <laughs> we need a drink on that. That nigga, that nigga look like he said a cool What cook. you got in your hand? Elevator. Oh, okay. That nigga, they over there. He got a burrito that, or something. Got that goddamn it, goddamn it over there. God damn it. I swear to goodness, I'm not, I walked in and my niece had it on her, her TV, and I was like, oh, that's that show. Oof. And right then and there, that moment came on. I was like, uh-oh. This well, I hope pretty- that writer don't talk shit about me, but I'm here to tell you, motherfucker. It's pretty graphic. In his show, they got men doing this. <laughs> ah. It's not my, I'm not, I, I, don't, I don't know how, I don't know how y'all, what, what? Like, I've never seen Brokeback Mountain. What about you, Marcus? No. You I did. It? I went and saw it by myself. I never had it, no. I did. What Nobody about you, Nile? No, I never. You never saw it? Uh, man, don't be shy, Abe. Did you see it? Uh, I like it because I like both those actors. So I went, nobody wanted to go see it with me. I so I went by myself. I started watching that Pete Valley because they were talking about them goddamn strippers on there. But then they got, got them doing too much on that motherfucker. And I was like, no. Nah, man, ain't, ain't no motherfucking to- man mm. watching that sucker shit. Wish I would watch some motherfucking show. With it. It's all, all they show is men in lipstick and, 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 and girl outfits in the commercial. And then- I don't care who else on there. And the main guy, like the main, uh, I guess the guy that helps run the club with another, um, 
business partner, what have you, I swear to goodness, and I, I, I didn't have my glasses on. I was like, I really thought that that was Morris Chestnut. And she was like, you thought who was Morris Chestnut? That head guy that runs the club with the gap. I thought it was Morris Chestnut from far away. I don't know. Yes. No, 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 no. He's not a stripper. He's he's just out there. He's just a, he's just a he's a gay dude. He, he a but gay, he's got he, all you he know. A guy who plays straight or he, a, or he a gay no, guy? No, no, no. He's a gay, gay guy. No, he's a right. gay guy that plays gay. But from far away, look. I was like more. You Chester? know what's very oh, rare? She, it oh, was not the main guy that runs the club. If you watched it, you know, know. Man, I thought the gay dude run the club. But that's what I'm saying. Him. I thought, thought that he was, was more chestnut. chestnut. I was like, oh no. And it. I was like, thank God. This is very rare. A straight guy who plays gay. Oh, okay. I seen the article. That's very rare. A guy it, it who's article. A guy who's straight who plays gay. They it's say, rare. It if a, they play gay, I don't believe that. The they will right. do strange things. It's or a piece role. of change. They they uh they say the uh, that's, it was an article. It was it was one of the dudes against who was messing with the uh with the uh, uh the, the main one the the, the, hmm. the owner. What happened? Uh, the What'd rapper. You? He was a rapper. What you heard? Now, he he had a family. He had a uh, a wife and kids. Uh, they had an article. He was saying he wasn't gay. He had a wife and kids. Ooh. A lot the, of those the, the uh, rapper, the rapper that was the, uh, dealing with the that the, are in the so you show saying it's a gay. straight man who play gay? That's what they say. Now. I don't believe it. That's what they say. No. We'll have to have. We'll have to ask. I, hey, he'll get fucked for a buck. <clears throat> Sound like to me. They're all working. I mean, like to me, of, get for a there's buck. a lot of characters on that show. So, so he'll do anything jobs. for his family to look like me. If they play gay, hell yeah, bring one of them motherfuckers over. You too shy? Don't be shy, man. What Show them guns do? out. My uh, dude? No. <laughs> Go back being shy, goddammit. Give me one of them motherfuckers. I can't oh, have a one. Shit. Just one. Everybody who care about me, sure. I'm just saying one. <laughs> you know. Look, for all the people who think I'm racist, I got the white Kit Kat. Oh, <laughs> he, did, he did move the bag around, because look, there's a, black, fact, God damn it. there's a black one. Speaking of white, oh, give me that dark one. <laughs> give me that real dark, unless you want it. No, it's only one. I don't eat this. You eat that. No, do I do you not. You acting like you all I do, not. do I, right with your motherfucking I, eating skills. I do not eat this, I said. Everybody up here do wrong eating. Everybody. I just said I do not eat this. I don't eat Look at the Phil. Candy. If I'm going to go for candy, which I haven't in a month, because I gave it up, <laughs> I'll go for sour stuff. I don't like chocolate. Chocolate and wafers. You don't, don't like, like chocolate. Either. Nope. That ain't true, D. D you yeah. can't never say you don't like chocolate. I don't like that kind of chocolate that breaks apart. That's weak. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Yo, I thought you like light skin, nigga. It's a wafer. He <laughs> served notice weak so chocolate out, niggas. Marcus. He might be old, you but, we, break he might be ass, old, but we have a son who's 30 that's a black belt. He'd kick your ass. That's your community. <laughs> Why you threatening me with your son, D? Come on, come on. Don't be going there. What happened? She always threatened me with her son. What is that? Well, because I, I have a sparring match with Lil Ice. I come in that motherfucker. That'd, That'd be, be funny. Oh my God, I would love that. <laughs> I have a sparring match. Oh, boy, you probably, you'd be surprised. Hey, Lil Ice, though. No. <laughs> you'd be like, oh <laughs> shit, mom, I didn't know you was that damn fun. <laughs> Lil Ice. That country shit work. Yeah. Look, I used to thin Bill, but oh, he got be up there like like Reggie. Oh, you ain't no Reggie started, huh? What the? And he got them legs. He's got both his legs and my leg. Both our legs. He got some legs. Yeah. They called to kick your ass. <laughs> right. Oh, they called to kick your ass. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, <laughs> oh you. Uh, be ready, I ain't say no easy win, boy. I'm gonna tell you. No, go ham. No, like, y'all motherfuckers yeah. never get into it. Y'all no. too. Good guys, man. Don't yeah. try. That D trying to do it. That D trying to, yeah. <laughs> no, because what am I gonna do? That's my car. I can't tell you. Well, come on, man. I'll look, look, look. Put him up. Oh, <laughs> I want to see D get in a fight with a girl. Not in real life, but. That motherfucker don't know. D's strong in the motherfucker, dog. Don't they well, think we're working up there at the thing? I haven't had do a you, fight in a long do time. You be, do you be working on that machine where you pull down pull like up. this? You know what I'm talking about, D? Pull up. No. Know that machine to make your back no. look like right. No. 
Oh, well. You don't do no back exercise? I do do back exercise, but I don't use that machine. You do something. You, you doing push up. No, that's for chest and back. Right. No, chest and back. D got that D right, back. Right, but no. I don't, I don't do that. I don't do the machine he's talking about. I don't do that pull up. You got that Danny Trejo back. He, Danny Trejo wish he had my back. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> mm. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Imperial. Somebody say D could take Margaret. <laughs> Marcus ain't no joke either. Marcus look cock strong mother. He just can't run that fast. Shit, I dust your ass. Oh, dust oh, your ass. My ankle been fucked up for a long oh, time. Oh, here we you go. Ankle ready now? No, nah, that mother can't heal. I don't know what's wrong with it. Uh oh. Oh, that heal, it. boy. You he better get it. some of that Edna and shit. I, I feel like I, you know I still get it. I still get down though. Mm -hmm. That mother would be hurting, man. I be trying to talk. Niggas be... say you sell lace blunts in P Valley. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be trying to jog. That shit be hurting like a motherfucker, man. No, nah, man, you can't be this young without figuring out what the fuck it is, Mark. Man, I went to them folks. They told me it wasn't nothing wrong with it. But I That's went to that the free insurance you had. Yeah, I, I went to the free clinic. They told me, I'm like, no, nah, you good. You I need think to get under the MRI machine. Where they, they told me see. I was born with a different ankle. Get yeah, it, you got to get in that MRI machine, man. Like that. It's they going to see been, everything. If it's been longer than a couple of weeks, that's not good. The yeah. doctor yeah. going to come out with that I shit. He's going to be like, um, you were capping on your passion, Mark. <laughs> I had a problem with my wrists like a couple weeks ago, but now it's gone away. But I was like. What you used to do with your wrist, D? Huh? What you used to do with your wrist? Moving stuff. Mm. Picking up stuff. Didn't but you I'm had just surgery, D? I did. So that's why they said that it was probably connected because, of right, course, all like those ligaments and all that. Yeah, but. Yeah, surgery. I know, but that just started. That just all you of a sudden appeared. It. it just all of a sudden appeared. No, I'm fine now. Look, Your hand huh? almost. Your game ain't shit. This one is almost straight. That's what, that's what fucked the wrist though. It could have been, but it went away. Oh, she said it could have been. <laughs> that's another, that's another thing. Surgery? All you no, he said, no, don't job. listen. Ah, that's that's hand job game. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. He couldn't even open a motherfucking bottle of Pepsi, goddammit, before that damn surgery. I could with the he other hand. this motherfucker like this. I could with the other hand. It was like Spider-Man. When before I got it done, I used to have to get those cortisone shots. It did look like Spider-Man. <laughs> but now, now I can really, really you show that neck. I'm going to smack it because this, this hand feels good. Hey, I'm strong. Oh. When you I fell off that motherfucking scooter the other, the other week in Orlando, <laughs> nigga, I got up so fast. Average motherfucker would have broke his hip. I'm a bad motherfucker, man. I'm just wait. I'm just, so you're saying you're a you bad? You got big hips, nigga. That's all. Do I? Nobody <laughs> saw it. Please, if somebody you had bounced, that on you, you bounced off the ground. Hey, nigga. do I got big hips? Oh, how does <laughs> Abe know? Checking oh. people who will be you looking. Bump, you bumped off the ground, nigga. This what happened, nigga. Where Abe go? What? Where did this happen again? Where did this happen again, Corey? Because we want Orlando. Wanna, ooh, somebody has to have that on tape. What Nobody corner? Saw it. Well, the, what the, corner the, the, was the it on? The place got it on tape. The Thank you. Please be rolling. Oh my God, we need that. We yeah. need that. I'm gonna get that MRI, man. I, I need to get this ankle worked out. Get man. that MRI. Get that I want to run again, me. man. I used to be cold. Why Wait, used to be, while you're why I used to run, I used to just, I'm to my boy be smoke behind but me. Wait, now while so you're walking fat, on huh? it, you haven't had any support. No, I mean, I you need a runaway slave. You need to, you know, no, Only way Django got caught, he was trying to run holding his girl hand. I was like, I left that bitch Django. Remember that scene? <laughs> uh -uh. You need to put you, uh, ankle support on there. That's all I'm saying. You used to be fast, course. So you used to start sitting in, eating in the woods and shit. Wop, 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 wop. Oh, the burr. The big mm -hmm. burr. Everybody, Hello? everybody Hello? age. You thank God Hello? if you're here. Well, don't have me do my dance. If you're lucky again. enough to be able to age. I've been getting requests to, to come do that dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you talking about that damn ugly ass dad? Oh, that nigga was hit that. Bad necessity, so good old bad necessity. Is it crazy? <laughs> anyway, oh, soggy ankles. Oh, my Girly God. Early hip Corey. Fuck y'all, nigga. Oh, God. <laughs> Arkansas, Arkansas Valley. Valley. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> Somebody say, hold on, go down. Somebody say, see a rheumatologist. Go back, go back down on the feed. Can you do that? You know how to do it without aid? Oh, yeah. There it is. Ooh, you know what? <laughs> he did not say that, huh, Marcus? Wait, uh, oh, wait okay, right there. See a rheumatologist, they fix joints. Latara Ashley. 
Who's she talking to, Mark? Biz B say D fine as fuck. Well, all right. He got on glasses though in his picture. Stop. I'm just saying. I and love he got on sunglasses. Four, I'm a four he eyes too, Busy B. I'm a four I eyes too. I wear my sunglasses at night. Nothing wrong with being able to see clearly, Corey. This part of the show <laughs> has been tolerated for generations. Ladies and gentlemen, these news talk about bullshit. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to just put this out there because before the show, before you guys got here, there was a comment because, you know, we put the we put the system on. I got on your nerves. No, it was cute because you got you were running so late that it's uh, it, it was Daryl Miller. So shout out to Daryl Miller. I believe it was comment of uh, I, how I would say before the show. Best comment. And he he called the show 51 slash 50 minute late show. Oh. <laughs> mm. oh, good one. That, good one, Daryl. Thanks, anyway. Will. What is that? Will Price. Five dollar ass nigga. Uh, good, Christian Scott sent fifty dollars on the Ooh. cash app. Dig what I'm no, saying? Them Ooh. cash up through them. Uh, See what they got for old Marcus. BD Hanley sent ten dollars. Okay. Man, I gotta pay these motherfuckers. I must gotta reset mine because I ain't got sweet. nothing. Thanks, you guys. All those that sent that to Corey. Yeah, sent me uh, so your boy, or I don't know which one you were rooting on. So if you know by now that uh, Adesanya. Is it Adesanya? Adesanya. Adesanya. Thank you. Well, look at here. Oh my Adesanya God. won the UFC um, fight. Yeah, so he, I don't know he if ain't, he ain't go hard. He ain't go hard no. like I thought he was gonna go hard. Uh, I didn't watch it. I'm just reporting. He, that, so. he, but that was a that was a big strong ass nigga. He was fighting though. That nigga that was. And how long that did they go? I didn't in, even look in, the That nigga was in mint condition. That nigga looked like uh, Blade. He called himself Gorilla. Yeah, what he called himself? Yeah. The guy yeah. that lost. That nigga looked like Blade. Uh, that motherfucker looked you scary. Remember, you remember Blade when he was in tip top condition? Patrick, thanks. Blade, forty nine, ninety nine. Patrick Edmund, we love you, brother. He couldn't fuck with all Israel. He uh. couldn't. Israel wasn't letting them put them hands on him. Mm. Oh yeah. Israel was using them. Was you, Israel running? Hell no. Nah, he was using that damn lip. Uh, yeah, yeah. I ain't that, never that, seen. You know, he a long body motherfucker. Huh? He's hard to hit. Hell yeah. So he won straight up though, right? But but the ones that was in the. Uh, but how long did it last though? Did it go to full? Yeah, it went full. What? It, it went to the decision. It went full. Yeah, right. but the, it was a dude who won in the in the prelim. Uh, he had beat he didn't beat Israel before uh, in kickboxing Ooh. twice. What? Where? Yeah. yeah, he knocked him out before and he and, he, and he beat him by decision, right? In kickboxing, in kickboxing. but yeah. prior to not in yeah. UFC in yeah. kickboxing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he beat and he and he told old, he told old boy up who, um, he was fighting. He, he, boy, he, he told his ass. Cat Raggedy, you understand? I'm gonna do, do my Marcus voice this whole segment. Boy, let me tell you something. <laughs> Israel, my law, but that motherfucker ain't do that shit in the UFC. Yeah. Yeah. He ain't so, did you don't do that over so here. Dude just made it. He ain't been in the UFC that long, has he? He ain't he been in the UFC. He tried to work it back, way back to Adesanya. Oh, he tried no. to work back to Adesanya. Hey, hey, your boy. <laughs> he ain't gonna be Israel. <laughs> He ain't gonna be like, oh. He's stupid. <laughs> Gosh darn it. He ain't gonna be like, oh. Man, <laughs> let me tell you. I can't, I can't with a stop. Stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. Get your head. Oh. <laughs> no, they did not. What did Gross Crazy just say? What happened? What did he just say? What did he say? Right, go down. Yeah. Go down a little, two more. <laughs> Why Israel be having French tip? He had French tip nails? No, I believe, I, I believe, I believe, that. I, I, I believe, no. you know, no. and it came out like the Undertaker, though. No, when I saw, when I saw his hair blonde that time, <laughs> I knew he switched up. Did he have a, did he have a, <laughs> good? Really, I like came out with his hair blonde one time. Fuck you. I like, boy, <laughs> that boy there. Did he have a good? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't uh, get that to him. Uh, 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 did he have a good with him? Uh, uh, she was uh, bad, uh, that good. He was one, though. He was. He was. <laughs> you cannot. Okay. Uh, Moving okay. on. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You fucking bitches. Oh! <laughs> what about no mainstream, y'all? How dare you? We gonna have some pie at the show. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> As everybody's probably heard by now, R. Kelly. I don't even know why people are talking about what's, like, all the stuff that's gonna happen to him after he gets out. I mean... We're talking the first trial. He hasn't even started the Chicago trial. So people are making a, a, a big deal already going, um, 
uh, already uh, being, his sentencing of course was 25 years, the New York one. Now he still has to start the Chicago trial, but they're also saying that he'll have five years and this is all, of course, going to get tacked on to whatever the sentencing is once the Chicago one ends. Um, they're saying that he has to do five years probation after the New York one. That's what came with that. In addition to he has to do sexual disorder therapy. What that consists of, I don't know. R. Kelly is in a situation where the Caucasian folks in the record world are making it where he's going to have to give up all his shit to get out of jail. We can get you out, but you got to sign over this, that, and the other. He should be glad they didn't kill him. And speaking of, I'm um, speaking of, of, of they are white extorting folks. that brother. That's what this is called, extortion. And the only reason that that picture is up right there of that woman, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell, that's the one that was in that that guy's uh, uh, situation where he was helping her bring young girls to a bunch of guys or whatever trafficking. Um, she right. She was sentenced this week as well. And people, now this is something to get worked up about, of course. Um, they gave her 20 years and they gave him 30. She was helping that other guy who committed, so-called committed suicide um, for trafficking young girls. Un Epstein. Oh, oh. She was trafficking, she just got oh. sentenced this week. So she was trafficking the young girls to help him, you know what I'm saying, with men. She just got 20. See, the white bitch. <laughs> uh oh, now Mark is going to the story. <laughs> See, they're gonna try to railroad the nigga. <laughs> but the white bitch get 20 years. <laughs> the fucking white hoe only do it 20. You were close, Marty. You were close. I was on my way to that one. I was on my way to that one. The fucking white bitch. That was on my way. <laughs> anyway, they actually had an expert come on and say that the rape and controlling behavior proven um, in R. Kelly's trial was far worse than what she had did. Get or the committed. fuck out of here. They was fucking babies and calling it a pizza party. Yeah. Talk about Hillary Clinton, all the motherfucking Caucasian alleged elitists are uh, motherfucking skating with them charges. Hmm. We should be at war with motherfucking the system. Dead ass. Yeah. We should be at war. They control the buttons, but there's people in there who look like us who are around the buttons. Knock their ass the fuck away from the buttons and let's kill them. Mm -hmm. All you motherfuckers <laughs> and you soldiers, your order's bogus and you know it. Get at them motherfuckers. That's messed up. And in the uh, Johnny Depp case, of course, this thing isn't going to go away. Homegirl's trying to get it thrown out because she, she doesn't want to pay what she owes him, which is down to like close to like over $8 million now that she owes him. Now, come to find out that, remember in the trial, he had to pay the, a well not pay, he asked the ACLU, which is the one she was supposed to donate, like her divorce settlement to them, and she never did. He needed the proof, so he asked the ACLU, could they give him all that information? So supposedly it was like a printout of, I don't know how many papers. But now they're saying, oh, some, you owe us, so this is our fee. That you that you know that we did for you and you won the trial, so now you owe us. At first, it was um, it was a pretty substantial amount, but they brought it down to his lawyers brought it down to thirty eight thousand, so it was even higher than that. So now they're saying that he owes that. You have to pay that bill because now we got, you know, we gave you the proof to help you win the case. Isn't that something else? So now he's got to pay that. Yeah, pay how much? Thirty eight thousand. <clears throat> oh, somebody sent me twenty five. Say uh. Cor show Corey that painting from last week. God damn it, I didn't bring it. Oh, the painting. Oh, you didn't? I thought you left it and he should have. Man, I, I didn't bring it. Shit. Why you be hating, man? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> be hating, man. I, wish you, I wanted to show that big face on that motherfucker. You stupid. You gotta pay for Miss America, the appreciation for the team. Johnny Depp's team. It's all look. Look, gotta, look at that lady in real life. In that movie, Aquaman, mm. that makeup. It's amazing. He did. He looked just like it with scissors hands right here. Right there. Yeah. He does. Yeah. But look at that girl. Mm. That is the what the the power of makeup. That girl was stunning in Aquaman. Well, makeup, lighting, and all that too. Right. right. Yeah. It made her look so cute. I didn't even know that was the same person. Her. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is a regular Hooters waitress looking. <laughs> oh my lord, that's funny. Bitch ain't shit. <laughs> well, yeah, that's messed up. But in Aquaman, she was, they, that, that no makeup was done. Hmm. But anyway, 
Damn, I forgot what she looked like in Aquaman. Aquaman, that bitch look look cute. Yeah, you have to look it up. What's her name? Amber Heard. Uh, and a lot of folks are talking about the twerking. Cokehead ho. Look oh. up cokehead ho and see who pop up. A lot of people are talking about the twerking oh, yeah, uh, Senate senator. Her name's Tiara, Tiara Mack. What's her name? Tiara Mack. She's 26. And oh. I don't know what possessed her, but her and, oh and you know God. she's gay. She's, she's a Rhode lesbian. Island uh, senator. Yeah, she uh, is. When she's trying to. Uh, and her and another woman were walking on a beach and she decides to twerk. Look good. She did that for votes. Yeah. Oh? She did that for votes. Well, no, she's already a senator. She did it for a lot for attention or whatever. But, no, um, I thought they said she was doing she it for votes. No, she's already a senator huh? of Rhode Island. But she's a bitch of dyke. She's dude, lesbian. She a fucker dude. She said All she's, she's, women, yeah, she's queer. If a girl will do that. He said she's queer. She'll take dick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If she they'll got, do that. Her booty was dirty a little bit, though. That don't stop She's nothing. on the beach. It's sand. You anyway. watch the sand off If they'll do that, they'll yeah. take dick. That's a, I want some dick pose. Well, yeah. anyway, she's saying that she's not bothered by it. She said she's going to do her as a black queer woman. You all know. She said, I'm going to be joyful, free, and unbothered. That bitch wants some dick. That's how I want some dick pose. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing a bitch can do with a bitch like that. Look at that bitch. That bitch got that monkey open. She want that monkey separated with two old beef patties. Oh my <laughs> lord. Anyway, she is making a big stink because she said, now how come they're not talking about when I won the national championship uh, MVP match Because don't in nobody soccer. give a fuck <laughs> about what you did with that. that is Keep true. busting down, motherfuckers will vote for you. Didn't I say that about the WNBA? Bust down, bitch. Do what you was put in, fuck. Oh. The fuck is you motherfucker trying to act like something else is wanted from you? Bust down. Oh, my God. Bust down. Speaking of Brittany Griner, earlier you brought her up. She, um, Somebody say, I need to unqueer her. Oh, oh my Lord. <laughs> you can suck pussy too, bitch. Just be still. still. Throw it back at me. It'll be over quicker. <laughs> yeah, like that. I'm, it's, uh, see, I'm done. Oh. <laughs> Again, speaking of Britney. Y'all can go suck pussy without me in the way now. Go ahead, D, my bad. Uh-huh. Thanks, Black Wolf. Um, Black Wolf gave a yard. Again, speaking of, oh, wow, I didn't see. Oh, there you go. Thanks, Brittany. Black Wolf. Brittany Griner, like I said, we brought up earlier. Um, she has finally reached out, and she wrote um, a letter to Biden and the, <laughs> and the White House. If you guys didn't see it, they put it on um, Twitter, <laughs> making her appeal. So if you want to read it, you can. It's it's quite long, but she's basically, you know, asking. Like, she talking to Biden to help her? Yeah, Biden, she hand wrote, yeah. Biden ain't reading that Donald shit. Trump. She should have wrote a letter to Donald yeah, Trump. Trump. Call your boy, Donald. Oh, shoot, Old Trump about true. that paperwork. Let me he ask y'all a question. Do you think if Brittany Griner was a petite, very pretty woman, would they have let her out by now? Uh, you never know, man, but no. Phil says no. In Russia? I think in Russia. I think any, any, I think any if, pretty big can get Putin out of that situation. If Putin wanted that pussy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he would have made that. I would, think right now in the situation that they're in, they're, they're using, I think anybody, male, female, good looking, not, whatever, I think they're going to use that uh, right now. It's today. the way she looked, too. When she come over there to Putin with that tank top yeah. on, and say, let me out. Get your ass in there, you fucking animal. <laughs> also, you remember, they were saying the but whole thing. But if it was a cute girl, give me a chance. Here, be like, it? Come here, let me out of But they were also Who saying the whole sexual poop? thing, too, the sex uh, thing. They were mm. all bringing that up, too. That they, right. that they were mad at that. that you know, because they don't, they don't like that. They right. don't like that, uh, uh, anybody being lesbian. Or you gay. suck pussy in there with the inmates. <laughs> Damn, that was Nigerian, wasn't it? That Something, was Russian. Kind of, yeah. You were. Yeah. How would you Russia suck, go, Marcus? You, you, you <laughs> suck pussy in there no! with the inmates. <laughs> your impressions ain't shit. Hey, <laughs> damn, yours. <laughs> I said I sound Nigerian when I did my shit. Mine sound, mine sound Russian. It was, what? Your shit sound. No, you sounded Jamaican, yeah? You sound like Michael Blackson over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is not the Russians talk. Hilarious. How the Russians talk again, Mark? You suck pussy like the end. <laughs> that sounds like a Jamaican. Right, nigga, what was you at on that island? <laughs> you sound Dominican, <laughs> though. <laughs> wow, has it been over three months? More longer than three months. I pray for the sister. Yeah, that's, it is. To get a chance to come home. and I mean, like, I don't know if she will ever go over there again, but she probably won't. The money ain't worth it. 
But I would tell once again, anybody who traveling out the country, don't pull it. Yeah. You hear me? Don't even try it. Don't pull it. Motherfucker like, pull what? I can't help you. <laughs> I can't help you. But everybody who know the game of life, when you go out this country, don't pull it. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to go to Russia, no goddamn. That's a country I don't give a yeah. damn about. Well, you wouldn't even want to carry that here. Huh? You would take people, a buddy huh? pass to Russia for some pussy, Marcus. You know, I you ain't rushing to Russia for no goddamn pussy. You ain't rushing to Russia. They have no some mail order brides. Russia ain't even. Russian, Russian bitches ain't even. I ain't, I ain't is, is that seen, Russian better? Monica. I ain't never seen no fine. I'm pussy. Kind of. It's on the on the verge of pirate talk, but yeah. Monica. No, that's 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 it again. That's what I'm saying. Go ahead. Go ahead. Marcos! No, that ain't it. Marcos! Come get this pussy! <laughs> no, hell no. That, that ain't Russian? That, 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 that's Island right there. That's Island? No, that's, island. that's Pirate. That's Pirate? Ain't nothing <laughs> Pirate. You got the scatter of me. That's a Jamaican Pirate. Abe, hey, can y'all say in Russian, come get this pussy? I can't even think in of Russian. no... I can't even think of no fine-ass Russian bitch. Oh, it's bad bitches. It's bad, uh, it's, it's bad bitches anywhere in this world. But Russia, I ain't never heard all the shit. What? All kinds I of people were marrying um, Russian brides or mail order brides. Russian, they, they got an impression school? They got to do, do, do learn languages? You go ahead, Mark. Yeah. You need boy, to I'm go. Gonna go. I'm going to go. I'm going yeah. to think. Well, I'm, them Russian bitches don't shave either. Boy, that pussy be hairy. That's what I'm saying. Them strong bitches. I, I like know. a hairy monkey. Oh, my God. I don't head. want no bald yeah. monkey. A bald head pussy ain't shit. Got them razor bumps, bitch. Brush me and be legit. Oh, yeah. That's a motherfucking odd nigga. Rest, yeah. in, rest in peace to Bruno Papantaco uh, from the movie Breaking. Um, he, of course, choreographed, taught, whatever worked with Michael Jackson, Shaka Khan. That was a lot Pimp of people. He just quoted yes, yeah. sir. Who is Papantaco? He, you remember him from the Breaking movie? He was the one on the. Uh, oh, they didn't put the picture. He's the uh, this this the, on the so-called bad side. You remember that they were in the Breaking movie competing oh, against Shabadoo? The, the, the light skin guy in here. Yeah, the Mexican kid. Yeah, he taught my how to do that lean or what have you. Anyway, he passed away. Nobody still is talking about what he actually died from, um, but he was 58. Show popping taco. Yeah. From Electric Boogaloo. Um, one nigga who could do the. He's got. He, he wears real the good. beret. He wears that black beret on the other on the other team or side. Anyway, put you under. Yeah. Rest in peace to him. And then word just just came. The um, notification just came down that rock legend Carlos Santana collapsed on stage tonight. Who was that? Um, Carlos, Carlos Santana. Santana. Oh, you don't know who no. Carlos Santana is. Who the hell is Carlos? Too young. You, you don't, don't know listen. who he is. Marcus, can I tell you some oh, real bless shit? Bless his heart. Right. Bless his heart. I don't know who the fuck he is. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Maria, Maria. Yes, you know Carlos Santana. I don't know he who sure the fuck does. that is. <laughs> I haven't heard of his name. Carlos Santana? Yeah, I've seen Huge. him. Yes. Yeah, I've seen him. He's a guitar he player. Time. He's awesome. He yeah, he's, anyway, he, I hope he's okay. He collapsed on stage. He's I hope he's okay. Like I hope they get him back on his he's feet, He's huge. Man. Carlos Santana is huge, dude. He's performed with a, a lot of yeah, big acts. Yeah, he's a big time. Uh, yeah, he's yeah, huge. He's, yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 he's Spanish. Do, do. Yes, he's Mexican. Yeah, he's Mexican. Yeah. He real Mexican. I ain't Not like the boy from Golden State, D said. She just wanted the Mexican credit. Oh Lord, he <laughs> is Mexican. Oh my God. Well, Carlos Santana, he's real black Mexican. He's goddamn. black. He's real too. The kid just because he's black. Skin. He's Mexican. Yeah. Who is that? If you want to say black skin. That's pa that's who? Papa Topper. That ain't Papa Taco. I don't know where that makeup is on that person. Who's Papa Topper? That ain't Papa Taco. Use show the Breaking movie one, then he'll really recognize it. It's Breaking. That ain't Papa Taco. It that's, was that they were. That's against... a bitch who babysit Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! I cannot. And in the Breaking movies, he's got the. That uh, bitch big. He usually wears like a. Cause Mike a tall. Mike was tall. He was to sleep on tall. Mike six three now. Was oh, Mike man. high three? No. Mike what? Was... Look it up. Mike wasn't no little yeah. motherfucker. He was a long, slender motherfucker. That's why when he did that move, hey, walk, don't you know when long people can move good? Hey, That's sir. why when Rizzo and Islam be dancing, it's amazing. You be like, look hey, at this sir. long He nigga. was 5'9". Who was 5'9"? Hey, Michael Jackson. Where is that at? Michael Jackson wasn't no 5'9". My Siri don't. Hey, you sir. telling me Michael Jackson more can size? Says five Marcus 5'8". Really. I don't know what it says five, So you're saying Michael Jackson was only an inch taller than Marcus. I, I'm just Did you see Michael Jackson next to Eddie Murphy? He was like, pick that up, Eddie. 
It says 5'9", I don't know. Because that's bullshit. They said my birthday was the day it wasn't. Well, yeah, but you can fix now that. that's popping taco right there. Yeah, that's the picture I was looking for. Cole, yes. we look tall yeah. on TV, man. Damn. You don't never look tall. <laughs> you Damn always not. look like a little stout running back bowling ball nigga. <laughs> Especially with your hat on. I'm so glad to be wearing them hats, boy. See, everybody's saying 5'11, 5'9, 6'3, 6'2, 6'3. Somebody say Michael 6'5. Come on. Now. <laughs> say Stop. Michael 6'6. Six, six. Now, Michael 6'3. <sighs> Michael said, we need somebody who can validate this. Hey, go, Mac. Call Booker Paul. You done seen everybody. <laughs> Did you ever see Michael Jackson in person? No. Shit. Even when he Lay did the have. he did the way you make me feel video with all the all the motherfucking homies. No. You wasn't out there with him. <laughs> I'm a, you ever called Booker? <laughs> <I, laughs> you were with Wesley. Hey Siri. <laughs> Wesley. I've been called Booker Pong. That nigga know. Hey Siri. Man, please. That nigga don't never know what I'm saying. Hey Siri. She don't know what you're saying. Your phone is about she to be. She might not be programmed. What we say? Hold your phone open. Hey Siri. Yeah, you, you got a lot nigga, of speed. You ain't, that ain't no real iPhone, yeah. nigga. <laughs> you got a bootleg How iPhone. How tall was Michael Jackson? Hey, Siri. Michael Jackson is five See? feet Yo, you got, you yeah. just got that thick ass tongue. It sounds like a lot of spit when you talk. She don't know what you're saying. Siri. Oh. <laughs> she said, she Siri is the pH balance off on your pussy. See, I told you, you thick ass tongue, boy. She can say that's not nice. She said, she said that's not nice to, to me that. one time. That bitch know what to that. respond to. Hey Siri, you, she can't, man. Michael Jackson's I, I, you, you gotta say Hey Siri, you ever been fucked in the ass? <laughs> what a bitch ain't saying nothing. This bitch showed the, uh, she showed the Packers man. score. That's hilarious. That's what I'm saying. She funny, the Packers. I, ain't, I get it, Siri. <laughs> You ain't the only phone out there, bitch. <laughs> man, hold on, man. How you turn Siri on? Come, she must not be on with me. Oh, here it is. There it is. Siri, there does is. vagina have a funny smell? I got it ready now. Seven different vaginal smells and why they happen. Damn, she showed that shit. Now, what was I going to ask But she ain't answering you. This bitch ain't answering me. Yeah. What, what was I supposed to ask Siri? What was I going to ask her? How do we know what we were about? Yeah. Siri, have you ever watched mainstream podcasts? <laughs> 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 bitch did like motherfucking Dave Chappelle. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Siri, you Whoa. fucking bitch. <laughs> right. she ain't gonna... See, she still ain't. Hey, Siri. It's cut off in here. Hey, Siri. It's not Man, yet. I just, there it is. There it is. Oh, well, she come on, in. ask her. I got, yeah, shit. Well, anyway, they out. said 5'9". I don't know. It keeps saying 5'9". I told you. Oh, yeah, that's what I was asking. Hmm. Hey, Siri, Gooch. how tall was Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson was 5 feet 9 inches. Bitch. <laughs> Gooch said the nigga was 6 feet, but he had big hands. Gooch, stop looking at niggas' hands. Everybody's 6 feet to Gooch. Everybody six feet too. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, all right, fuck. You got more? I don't know, it's just like. He give up on the shit, goddamn. Uh. Anyway, motherfuckers, it's all to the good. Let me tell y'all motherfuckers something, man. This is the 51 motherfucking 50 show, the greatest podcast in the history of this sucker ass podcast. Come on, just shit. run in. Nobody got to be kissing y'all motherfucking ass, man. Michael Jackson was a tall motherfucker. He, <laughs> well, that mean Eddie Murphy little. I told Eddie. Huh? Eddie tall? Eddie about five ten. He about five ten. Same height as Mike Tyson. They said you made the, my my Siri go off on my phone. That guy said when you're. Here. <laughs> <laughs> they say, hey Serial, fuck you. Woo! Hey, look, man. So I, 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 I gotta yeah. bring this up before uh -huh. we get off the show, cause I be. <laughs> Thinking about this shit. First of all, am Later. I forgetting any topics that's happening right now? Because it seems like everything happened on Wednesday, and we got to wait a week to talk about it. Oh, yeah, because something did oh, happen last week that, that, we, uh, <laughs> that we didn't uh, talk about last week. Mm -hmm. But, yo, let me tell y'all something about women 
who always wear fake hair and how unfair it is to a man who wants to start a family. Oh, I, I, know, I know something we didn't talk about. We, 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 what was your suggestion? You, the, I got to talk about this shit. Okay, the, the woman with the, uh, with the uh, food, she, uh, with the dude brought the, the, the kids the food. Are you talking about that McDonald's shit? It was yeah. a skit. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. it's, I, I, I talked about it because it was, it was split in the comments, even though it was a skit, but motherfuckers was really mad at the nigga for not bringing them that ki the kids shit. That's why I was like, what, what are y'all talking about? That's what they wanted people to do, yeah. I, I, I just couldn't believe that, that they were siding with her. You know There's what I mean? There's a lot of people not siding with her also. Yeah, that's true. But I'm just saying. But I it was split. It was split down there in the middle. When they showed the bitch, I tell that bitch right at, that bitch looked like the Hamburglar. <laughs> like, if you, without that makeup on, boy, I know that bitch flat out monstrous. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. Oh, it's that bitch sad. had on. She looked like she put her makeup on with a butter knife. <laughs> ah, like, maybe like peanut butter. Right. I was like, what the fuck is this? Bitch, you ain't hiding? Uh, I, I, but that go back to what I was talking about. Bitches who disguise the transformer bitches, man. It's not fair. Some of these bitches are so raw with their makeup and hair game, you actually think you have a semi-decent looking woman. Speaking of, you know who puts makeup on for a music video? Who? Tiger and YG, you see that? Who is Tiger who and YG? Who put what? Who put the, you ain't seen who put their makeup on for the music video? No. Wait a minute. They dressed up like uh, white women? Oh, that's right. Somebody did put that up. I saw that. I saw a quick, quick. What, it, what, it, what, they, somebody put on some, they did like, 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 like the they white did girls? like the yeah. like they did yeah, like micro movie. Yeah, yeah. Tiger Tiger and YG. But they they like really hold on. Man. man, I hate you brought that shit to me, man. <laughs> oh, you didn't want me to say that? Let me see what they look like. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Enlarge it. Hold up. I can't wait to see this shit, man. Y'all know I'm gonna get y'all my niggas. <laughs> I love both of y'all niggas. Just show that one. I love both of y'all niggas. No! <laughs> My nigga. Uh, 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 no, my niggas, no. Uh. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Corey gonna rush out and get them glasses. Uh. Damn. Um. Why, why you bring that up, Mark? <laughs> I was trying to debate it. I was going to debate it in my head if I was going to bring it up. I like both like of them niggas, man. God! <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Why did he gave us clothes and shit? I, I, I know, man. Yes, you did. Yeah. I know Tiger, man, he showed me bad love when we did Big Boy one day. Mm. I yeah. love them little niggas. Well, they were just having fun, I guess. Huh? <laughs> but! <laughs> <laughs> you done fucked up now, niggas. Was that for who you done came video? out the bag on me, niggas? Was it for a song? Don't y'all know I try to keep the niggas I love out the there motherfucking game? <laughs> Marcus did that whole part. You ain't shit, man. Which one you is You ain't shit. Which, which one is which? <laughs> God damn, look at my niggas. <laughs> no, my niggas, no. No. Take no. <laughs> no. It might be auditioning for Pete Ballard. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Not my niggas. <laughs> fight it, nigga. Remember when Kane died on Minnesota? Fight it. Fight it. Not nigga. my nigga. <laughs> Fight it, nigga. Fight. Fight. Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> no, my nigga. No. Fight. Fight. No. No. It's all slow. <laughs> You 
Somebody said no. 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 That nigga played blue though. No. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> but whoever did their makeup and hair, it's it looks great. Oh my god. <laughs> no. They didn't do that. They really do. It looks like. Oh, you ain't shit. <laughs> Why did you expose me to that? <laughs> Throw the damn towel. They look, they look good. They Throw the damn towel. <laughs> and the best makeup and hair award oh. goes to. <laughs> oh my god. Uh huh. <coughs> anyway. Oh, oh, yeah, that's man. messed up. I don't even know what to say. I'm so hurt. Oh my you god. didn't have to show the game. <laughs> what you be on? Oh, that's oh. messed up. Oh. Oh. But what was it for? You still never said. A music video. Oh, whose? Both of them do, got a song uh, together? Yeah, they think they did a video together. Oh, I, well. I listen, the song ain't got nothing to do with the damn Why they dress like that? No. Yeah. It, it, it makes sense. No. Oh. He said they look like me. Who says that? They oh, they said they look like Johnny. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it. I just said, I'm making fun, dummy. They oh. said there was a mask for a bank robbery scene. Toopy though. Oh. oh, that makes sense. Is it a mask? Yeah, it's a mask. Prosthetic? Good prosthetics, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, so they were robbing a bank. Oh, they're robbing a bank. I'm so glad it's okay. a mask. Now I can, now I can make excuses for them. <laughs> He's when I make excuses for other niggas I love. <laughs> really quick, I didn't bring up in loose talk before it gets a little older. I just want to bring up two divorce divorces in the air. I don't know if it's in the water. Everybody oh. gonna divorce a bitch after they fuck her. Go ahead. Uh, uh, one that's kind of oh, it's sad because they've been together over 20 years, and that's Big Boy and Sherlita Patton. Oh. Big boy from um, Outcast. Oh, I thought you were talking about the big boy out here. I'm no. like, big boy ain't on that. No, big boy from Outcast. Um, they were together for tw 20 years. Who was years. Charlita Patton? His wife. They were together for 20 okay. years. Okay. And now this one, I'm sad, but, but I'm, not I'm not shocked because I was, I was actually, I don't know, I kind of didn't feel, I feel it in the beginning when he married that girl because I used to always, I don't know, I, I hate to say the money thing, but. Keenan Thompson, he filed for divorce papers to legally separate for his wife, uh, from his wife. Who was Keenan Thompson? Keenan. Keenan and Kill. You saw the nigga on Saturday Night Live? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me see the bitch. He did what? He filed I got a picture of the bitch. She's right here. Still. Oh. Let me she see how she bad look. looking, though. Oh, she Let got a kid her. out of the deal, so she's, um. She ain't bad looking, though. She's straight for the stroke. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. But anyway, that's sad. Well, what you doing he's... marrying a bitch that look good? You see how you look? He <laughs> played Fat Albert, nigga. That always happens. He's a guy with money. It's going to happen to the you best of them. Don't know, bitch, won't you, little homie? You know I know you, nigga. Don't know, bitch, won't you? Well, he finds out Marry a bitch that, that look like you. When y'all go shopping, people be like, oh, they, they going to be together. Found out the hard way. Look at her. That bitch look now like she in shape. <laughs> that nigga got that little bitch. Every woman I fuck with fall off. I'll get a little cute bitch, and then after a while, that bitch start looking like me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm influential in relationships, goddammit. <laughs> if your girl stay in shape and you ain't in shape, you ain't shit. Your woman don't fall off when she meets you. Girls, I be with they house, be nasty at that, be around them for a Chase little while. Up. Oh Chase my up. God, you're rubbing off on them. <laughs> uh, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm super duper hella fine. If a girl around me, she gonna relax. That's what happened. With they that, all relax. With that hairstyle, I don't know. You girl love my hair. That's not a relaxing look. When you look at it, it's chaotic. Does it? It look yeah. chaotic? Uh -huh. Speaking of hair. <laughs> Hater. Let's go. Cletus. Come on, darling. Uh -huh. We both died. That, 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 that hair do got an age. No, I have not yet. Look, I actually was. Look at all the gray. This is the most you I've say, had. You say, wait a minute. I want to hear what Mark oh, said. That, 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 that hair do got an age range. For, you, know, you got an old man and head. <laughs> and old man jaw. It's rough uh -oh. on the side. <laughs> Look like you've been working a job. You got to shave every day. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey. Down syndrome, Ildris Elba face. <laughs> yeah, all right, jaw. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we try to do something to have you laughing and feeling good and slandering us about. Like, I watch the internet. I see the shit y'all motherfuckers be putting on where you try to shit on me. Tell me why you mad at me. <laughs> I'm just being Corey, motherfuckers. <laughs> y'all Where's my me. little twisties? <laughs> <laughs> Look like little BBs. <laughs> he wished that she could see. <laughs> you can see very well with my glasses on. I can't do it. Boo. There was a butterfly. Oh, God. <laughs> An all black butterfly? All y'all motherfuckers <laughs> who come up with your criticism of the great Corey Holcomb. It's 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 desperation. I've seen people come up with things they say about me on the internet that you expect <laughs> to make me cry. But every time you put my name in your mouth, motherfucker, you build me. So as you talk <laughs> shit about me, motherfucker, just remember you building me. I don't have to say your name, motherfucker, because you ain't sure. Yeah. Nobody quotes your shit. You ain't sure. So as you talk shit about me, just remember you holding my dick up in the air. Mm. Whatever motherfucking try to motherfucking burn me down quotation, it comes from your motherfucking mouth, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm Corey Holcomb, motherfucker. Marcus, what you got to plug this week? Man. Besides D faking you out. I'm going to go. I didn't know it was that close. Mainstream to tomorrow, 6 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, OJ, uh, OG Ortiz, May. <laughs> I will. Oh, you know what? Not be there. You I'm know going what I'm saying? to. I'm going to. When well, I leave, I'm All right. Home. She says you coming, man. So you know I got to fuck with on the show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have a list of questions for you. You go know ahead. what I mean? It's yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So, uh, and I'm being in New York this uh, weekend. You take calls on your show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Right. So, y'all, they're going to be out, they're going to be able to call and talk to D. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. I know you, uh, niggas going to be probably saying some crazy shit to you about to hang up on their ass. Whatever. It's just, it's what it is. Oh, you like that? You like that? I don't know that I like that. No, I'm just saying, how can you, you know, you can't only do so much to avoid it. Mm hmm. All right. So okay. Good. Well, I'm going to be in New York. Uh, I'm going to be there from Thursday to, to, to Monday. But I'm only doing shows Saturday and Sunday with David, David Lucas. I'm doing uh, Poughkeepsie. What, what the? Poughkeepsie. Oh, it's, oh it's, it ain't Poughkeepsie? <laughs> Poughkeepsie? Poughkeepsie, Oh, Poughkeepsie. Oh, my God. Poughkeepsie, New York? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm we'll doing Laugh It Up. You heard that? It's Laugh It Up Comedy Club about that. I'm doing it on the night. Then uh, uh, the Tiny Cupboard in Brooklyn on the 10th. Tiny the Cupboard? Tiny Cupboard. Tiny who? Cupboard. C U P B O A R D. Cupboard? It's Zindy Cupboard. Yeah, the cupboard. You say a cupboard. The cupboard. The shit to be on cupboard. your teeth. Huh? Cupboard. It would, so, so the P side. Yeah, you don't say cup and then bird. Cupboard. Oh. Cupboard. What's well, shit? I thought it was cupboard. Well, so you, you going to be out there, the, you be out there the Thursday? Cupboard. Yep, be out there Thursday. I'm gonna, you ain't, ain't working Friday. Thursday, right? No, nah, I'm gonna get there Friday, five o'clock Thursday, Thursday, Friday. I ain't working. You get there Thursday, five o'clock Thursday. Y'all throw him some work. All the homies to fuck with me. Yeah. Get that man in one of them rooms so he can see how this cold ass game is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Let me fuck with the New York, man. Let me see what's happening. Get my man booked. I'll get you booked. Oh, New York. And, and by tomorrow, we'll have all the new printed items up in the store. So those that are have been coming through for us. We have a lot of new items, a lot of lady stuff. Are you taking stuff out of town? I don't go out of town this week. I okay. Get to chill. Okay. Well, they'll be up in the store. So going to the studio, get in there with my man Moody. Goddammit, and we about to motherfucking make some magic. I got a new song I created. Actually, I got two new songs. Cool. We ain't gonna let me go on there. Just go on, go on, Rick. One of them, 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 uh, them songs, man. Well, go let get you on do there. a country rap. Do a rap. Yeah, get on that rap, man. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, let that thing uh, up, man. Uh, uh, let me get in the studio and show you Thank how this shit's supposed to be done. Cause you heard my Super intro. Good. You know, you, I, I be having them little bars, man. <laughs> <laughs> Man, look, Marcus, you doing it 
incredible job, dog. I give you your credit. Don't be acting like I don't be giving you credit. Oh, okay, man. Appreciate this, man. You know what I'm saying? Then I tell them. Tell them the fuck, nigga. Stop worrying about that shit, nigga. Your your job is to be good, nigga. Yeah. Be good. Mm-hmm. And then all the true recognition comes. Right, 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 right. Don't look for none of these mustaches, nigga. Who was the nigga who said I said, who was the nigga who said you was my sidekick? Oh, man. Oh, you don't want to put him on the spot like that. Oh, no, man. So don't laugh that much during the show because I know they be mad like you laugh. You know, niggas be like, man, that motherfucker laugh at everything cool to say. <laughs> oh, hate ass nigga. Yep, that's the same thing. like, look at him. They mad. They <laughs> jelly. If they were watching the show. <laughs> they jelly. Uh-huh. <laughs> everything you say, that one motherfucker, boy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I see how you are, motherfucker. Uh-huh. <laughs> Motherfucker, motherfucker. They gonna find anything, any any reason to find a flaw in me. They they looking for one. They just waiting. They hate it's to see you laugh. About dog. that nigga, man. I don't like. It's they just, like how the fuck just... Corey got that nigga around him. <laughs> so they try to they try to drop it in a way. Motherfuckers are saying in a way like it don't seem like they hate. Right, right, right. I don't know why you want to set that garbage ass nigga out who said that shit. <laughs> I know it ain't nothing but a garbage ass nigga. <laughs> I want to know, really. I be thinking about that shit. It must not fuck, be, because he doesn't want to. said that shit. No, he brought it to me, so I oh. want to know. No. Really, that's kind of like some weird shit. You say some nigga said it, then you don't say the nigga I, name. I really, I, I forgot about the shit. I don't even, damn, I don't remember who it is. You know who the fuck it is. It's a nigga man. you hang with today. I don't, man. Put him on black. I don't. The L.A. He got d musty. Yeah, first of all, it's not really hot. It hasn't been hot out here, really. It was kind of chilly last night. Yeah. That's why I got on this little jogger yeah. suit and mm-hmm. shit. Motherfucker, what that jogger suit say? Oh. Oh, no, they don't. I was Puffers. Say my shoes. Oh, they fit you. I was going to say, my shoes match your, your mm-hmm. sweatshirt. Puffer. You, like, you look like a puffer. <laughs> he wanted to show off my little shoes and shit. <laughs> We're pretty flexible still. Is that, is that gay if a man do that? You've been doing that, Corey. You've done it probably about a do what? Thirty times. Hold his feet up. You, Hold his feet you've up. done it before. Hold his feet oh, up I took like my what? Shoes off. I got on some. Oh no no no! Please don't put those feet up. What? No. no. I think I got on some teenage beauty ninja turtles. Go up. Goddamn. Turn up to the side. Turtle in the house shell. That nigga oh, got the crocs on. Just, turtle vans on. That nigga is. I, I had on my J's all all day. I was like, I just throw these crocs on. Extra thick crocs. Yeah. Uh, Corey hair looked like cheese weeds. <laughs> Don't put them legs on my shoulders. Corey got breast sweat. Somebody say, D, please stand up. No. She said, no. Paid, well, I mean, I ain't get paid for that shit. D, you did shit. shit. What you, what you, you got on? For me, folks? Yeah, but I ain't gonna do it on demand. Shit, if that's the case, what? What? Let's go. What? I'm waiting for the catcher to go out. What, 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 what you got on? Gachos, D? What do you mean? Gachos. Them. This is a jumpsuit, and them I can. Gachos look like. No, and I could tighten oh. this up like sweats if I wanted to. Man. Oh, that's a cool jumpsuit, D. Oh, thank you. That's fresh. I be giving people credit for their shit. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a fresh ass jersey, Marcus. That motherfucker. Ain't no plenty, jersey. Dog. Yeah, it's a. That ain't said a jersey. Sweatshirt like yours. That's it's a sweatshirt. It's a jumper, nigga. Like I got a jumper on, like you got. A you cool. do not. What you say? Yeah, a jumper. Oh, it looked like it. Yeah, it's a cool. It's a two pieces though. It's not a jumpsuit. It's two pieces. I mean, I didn't get a jumpsuit. No, a jumpsuit's one Who piece it, together. A cool. A cool? T.I. T.I.? Yeah. Uh. All right, that was up. Cool nigga. A cool uh, nigga. That's uh, uh, what I am. All right, so I want to say to all of the fellas who went to a barbecue with a bitch on Saturday and didn't feel like eating when your real bitch made something on the fourth, you're not alone, nigga. <laughs> Players for life. God damn it. Corey, are you related to Kwame Kilpatrick? Fuck you. <laughs> the mayor nigga who motherfucking getting that money. Why say I got some fat boy crocs? Fuck y'all, dog. <laughs> they were thick at the bottom though. They yeah, different. Yeah, that nigga got them fat ankles. That nigga. Glasses thick. <laughs> oh brother, no they're not. My Ricky Smileys. Thank you, Ricky. We ain't gonna talk about the homie. Homie looked out for me. Fuck yeah, that's about everything Marcus wears. Everything Marcus wears a sweatsuit. These are Ricky's Marcus. Yeah, that's silly. Marcus be wearing his do 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 do
outfits all the time. <laughs> what the hell? I was long, but it paid off, nigga. <laughs> like, I'm a, I be seeing that shit you be throwing on online, nigga. You be dressed like a janitor, nigga. You. Well, I be wearing some raw shit. I, I didn't have time to go home man. today, so I just threw on this little jogging suit. You dig what I'm saying, though? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nigga be dressed like a bus driver. Hold on, did somebody say that I hear Monique's confession? I mean, response to my love confession. No, I didn't. Oh, she says so? Oh, somebody must have sent it to her. Shit, I ain't gonna lie. Monique tried to give me that pussy. All the girls I fuck with got to understand. You looking for it, Marcus? No. Oh, my God. God. Damn it, Monique. God damn it, shit. Monique somebody said you got on give snot me that cross. Pussy. That's funny. I want to fuck Monique with the light on. I want to see what it look like. Oh, my God. Well, you know they I they, do. But aren't they in like an open marriage? What if the three of them wanted, two of okay, them Okay, bring your husband, I'll bring my girl. No, her and the husband and you. Oh, B, you Here we go, uh -huh, yeah. Oh, that pussy you done ate and get mad when oh, somebody God, bring it up. Oh God, there you go. There you go, fantasy. D be getting mad. I don't get mad, I don't know why you keep saying fair, D. If you ain't pussy, you ain't pussy! Stop fighting it! I don't get mad, I don't get mad. Irritated maybe, but never mad. What's the difference between irritated and mad? Is there a difference, difference between irritated mad. and mad? I don't get mad. Why would what I get it? mad at you? If I was mad, I'd, I'd, I'd tell you. Siri, what's the definition of irritated? Frustration. Irritated means <laughs> showing or feeling slight anger, annoyed. Do you want to hear the remaining She still didn't say mad. She said anger. What is the definition of being mad? Deep, angry and mad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the definition of mad? That's the thing, is that he always wants me to, so he... Man means a noun denoting a male of a specified nationality or origin. Man, not man. Do you want to hear the she next said, one? She, she said man. She said, <laughs> told yeah, you. yeah, bitch. I told you that thick ass As song, you gotta be... It means an adult human male. Want to hear one more? <laughs> I said mad, M-A-D. He's mad. He's getting What mad. is the definition of mad? M A D. It's going to say Corey. What you want right now? Yeah. <laughs> okay. She ain't oh, my know, God. Oh, you bitch. I know you. I'm, I'm going to pull I love it. She's court, mad at you. you. Oh, Siri's mad at you. Don't you don't like typing. Mentally disturbed, mm -hmm. deranged, insane, demented. Mm -hmm. That's what happened when we talk about you and girls. Angry. Almost, but I ain't gonna lie. Every woman I know, when you talk about their experience with other women, they get mad. Mm -hmm. They get mad, unless they one of them real studs. But a lot of girls who be embarrassed that they got with a woman, they get mad. I'm saying, like you leave it alone. I'm not saying you, D. I'm just saying no, but you've been any woman that, that I talk years. to about that be talking, yeah. Even yeah. if they, even mm -hmm. if it's known they got with a woman. If you bring it up, you be like, so what was it like? Ooh, they be, Motherfucker, shit! <laughs> <laughs> that that was a long time ago. I was in the dark place. Right. Thank you, Super I don't Jesus. live like that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think when guys keep pushing that issue, they're just, they're just jealous. Maybe that woman doesn't want to get with them. That most might the be time. it, too. It is, most of the time. No, It'll be a bit you fucking know when you talk about <laughs> <laughs> So what about the pussy you ate? You want to talk about that? I don't eat pussy! Or, I don't want to talk about that. That's what happened. <laughs> I be with girls who eat pussy before, or some still eat pussy. Of course, you said it, yes. <laughs> Ain't nothing to get mad about. This is a granddaddy, Corey. This is granddaddy. <laughs> Wait a minute, Corey asked Siri, who is talking granny. about you to Marcus? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not crack. <laughs> <laughs> Siri, who told Marcus that he is sidekick? <laughs> she don't say shit to some shit. You a funky bitch, Siri. <laughs> Corey Sweat say, I don't know what that say. P Valley. D, I'm shocked. I don't know what to say. I don't care if you talk about other men not going to wife you. I don't know what to say. Yeah, see what you, yeah, it's, that's your people. Y'all niggas ain't coming with no good one. <laughs> Especially West Coast women. That's what El Muhammad said. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, what about the twerking black senator? I mean, don't get that bitch too much credit. She a bitch. She gets oh, some they dick probably in came her. on late. No, they just probably came on late. Have oh, ever, they're asking. Oh, about her. Oh. Have you ever had sex with a person and want to get away from them as soon as the sex is over, but uh, you still be around them all the time? You, you always try to get sex from them, but as soon as the sex is over, you want them to go. Oh, yeah. What about you, D? Mum's the word. Yeah. Yeah, motherfucker had some good snatch. <laughs> Mum's the word. Motherfucker had some good snatch. Before. Why you want to get away from her right away? Because I couldn't stand them as a person. Right. Coochie good, but person, terrible. Terrible mm. person. Terrible. Mm -mm -mm. Terrible person. The God just was. T U R B L. Yeah. Terrible. One half, terrible. He, 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 he was just like, I'll just throw some shit together. And then the bottom half, he was like, I'm going to perfect this shit. <clears throat> uh -huh. and, you know, and how it worked out? Yeah. Fuck y'all. I hear y'all motherfuckers trying to get me to say motherfuckers name. Mm -hmm. Southern girls are hidden gems. Corey sweat pork chops. <laughs> if I she do. got good box. Sweat Senators pork chops. for the streets. All the time. Trek shoes. Just Tastes like a battery. <laughs> Macy Gray went in on trans people. Who? Macy Gray went in on trans people. Is she? She did. What's she say? <laughs> what Macy Gray say? Macy Gray got a, she got the most, one of the most weirdest voice. Is good? She might have one of the most, ah, oh, okay, ah, oh, I forgot her hair, yeah, boys. Let me make you I thought it was kind of deep. Let me make you yeah. some need. Bitch, I want you to open your ass so I can go when I'm through. Her and Miss Chalet got some crazy voice. Yeah, Miss Chalet voice is crazy. Mm -hmm. I, you can't even imitate Miss Chalet voice. I met a lot her in of person. girls with crazy voice. I met her in person, I was like, what the fuck? Oh yeah, you thought she was holding her nose I while she talked? I thought she was one of them smokers that lost their voice. You, it, she was talking through, pushing that thing, boy. She, oh, she got the real high voice, for real. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Do, do, do your voice is gone, ho. She was sweet, though. She was She's a very nice person. Yeah. Siri ate right. out Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> They're cousins, not really. God, niggas ain't <laughs> shit. <laughs> now nah, you can't fuck cousins, because every time you fuck a cousin, it go bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe you done fucking cousin for Hey man, it's cousin. And it's sister. <laughs> There's enough distance. I wouldn't <laughs> tell it if I did. You wouldn't tell? Hell yeah, no, I wouldn't tell. Why you do it if you're ashamed of it? Oh, cause it shit, I probably didn't know. You didn't know? You say you probably didn't know. What kind of shit is Nigga, y'all niggas is crazy. <laughs> I probably didn't know. Ah, he's already confessing something. He's letting right. us know. He's letting us know. <laughs> anyway, y'all motherfuckers out there in the world, man, y'all take it easy tonight. Yeah. God damn it, them firecrackers last night out, out here in L.A. If they were firecrackers, because most were, of them. Motherfuckers mm, were shooting them yes. things. You sh what, what, I, them bottle rockets. I don't fuck with them motherfuckers. I ain't even go outside, man, like that, man. Because most of them are firecrackers, I'm telling you. Anyway, mm -hmm. somebody say Herschel Walker running for senator in Georgia. If he win, they're going to have a dumbest nigga. Yeah, he's nigga. been. He's actually a Dumbest ass year. in captivity. Yeah. That's nigga that was talking funny. Was somebody say, when the Chicago show? Shit, motherfucker, September 9th. Mm -hmm. At the motherfucking Chicago Theater. I'm going to tear that motherfucker down. What is it? What date? September, September 9th, 9th, Chicago okay. Theater. Y'all ain't ready for this shit. I got some new jokes about the motherfucking... Um, Garage sales for the uh, abortion clinics. Oh, shit. Shit, they be selling out front. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be bullshit, nigga. I'm going to be ready. Remember my garage sale jokes for the abortion clinic. <laughs> <laughs> I got to oh, bust ass up. comics. I know you're going to try to run with yeah. it and say, anybody could say, bust ass nigga. You ain't going to be able to do it like me. You bust ass, garbage ass motherfucker. Garbage ass motherfucker. <laughs> Garbage at No, I'm just fucking with you. I gotta be down there. I'm gonna be down there and support you. I'm be down there. Be down there and support you, man. That's what's up, man. All right, we're gonna wrap it up till next week, god damn it. I am Corey motherfucking Holcomb. This is the 51 motherfucking 50 show with my man Marcus, Darlene OG Otis. We are here at the motherfucking Coin Academy, home of the baller podcast with some of the realest motherfuckers that I done got to know, god damn it, motherfucking Lay Law, G Mac, Macca. And the whole crew to be up here, goddammit. Squad. Love y'all motherfuckers, man. 5150, <laughs> we about this. Yeah. yeah.